on him, then he bounced right back. Same mode, same with the pot. Same, same mode, same with the pot. Same, same mode, same with the pot. The same mode. Long Star Sports Show right here about fastball sports and technologies located in Duncanville, in, excuse me, in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> right there, CEO, founder, and CEO, Ross Comerford, bringing today's show to you from Fast Mall Technology, leading basketball and possibly other sports into the 21st century through the vehicle of technology. Mm-hmm. Getting the whole full-blown analytical process going in the direction that they wanted to go. There you go. The analytical. Analytics, coach. Analytics is new. People want to know. You know one thing I know people about Analytics people, coach? Huge. I've learned a lot of things about human beings. People want to know what's going to happen before it happens. Yeah. They want to get ready for it. I got you. That's, that's what analytics gives you the opportunity to uh, 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 take a look at. Still no guarantees. That's why they play the game, coach. That's why the Cowboys still playing. All right. Cowboys get 10 and 6, coach. We in. That's Alan Branch's prediction right here mm-hmm. from the Cowboys Snoop and the rest of the world. Ten and six, your boys are in, coach. Mm. Ten and six in the, in, the, in, the, in the end. Took a real, real good, solid look at it. <laughs> he even got some notes on it, coach. I went and check it out. Put the math on it. I put the analytics on them, coach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was looking at it, coach. They're looking for that. Ten and six, coach. Hey, teams are saying if, if ten and six can't get me a wild card spot, this just ain't our year, coach. This ain't our year. Yeah. We'll go on and get ready for next year. Mm-hmm. Ten yeah. and six, Coach, going to get you this year. You're going to get you in the conversation. Most, most years. It, it, it's going to get you in the conversation. You. I took a look at but all, all, all the, the – the, the, go ahead. It's four weeks left. Yeah. Coach, it's going to be a lot that's happening this four weeks. Everybody can't win. Yeah. That's take, all. I mean, it's a big game we'll tonight. Take, take you got Atlanta and New Orleans. You got Atlanta and New Orleans tonight. They yeah. can, 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 can New Orleans beat the Falcons twice, Coach? Yeah. They can run that football and they can – they can beat them, Coach. Coach, if, if, if you write about what you're talking about there, that, 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 that's, that's going to put us in there, ain't it? That clean us up real good. had that conversation with Roe out. <laughs> yeah, you had that conversation too. Huh? Yeah, Roe did. Oh, that's, that's a Cowboy Nation right there in the, in yeah. the Old Cliff. They got Cowboy Nation. We had that conversation, Coach. Yeah, so you do that right there. You know, and then you turn back around. You got the Seahawks there. You get a chance to take care of a little business on your own. That's now. a good thing. Now you get a chance to take care of it on your own. Yeah, yeah. take care of your business on your own. I think the Rams, Rams can bring it back around there. Mm. And then they got to try to get to 10 and 6. On the Seahawks, on the tiebreaker stuff, we beat the Seahawks on the tiebreaker stuff. Huh? When you start breaking the tiebreaker down? Yeah, if we going to beat them. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. yeah. We, we, you, you take care of that right there, so you clean that up. Now now you're just sitting there looking at the Panthers. Still got to look at You still got to take a look at Green Bay ain't out of it, Coach. Green Bay ain't out of it, Coach. Packers in the line 6 and 6. Coach, I always worry about what's in front of me. I don't worry about no, what's no, behind but me. I'm saying, <laughs> no, but I'm saying they 6 and 6. Yeah. They can win out and they beat your head up. Green Bay. Yeah. Green yeah. Bay beat We got two spots, though. Mm. I know. Yeah, Green mm. Bay beat two, two wild card spots. Yeah. Mm. And Green Bay get in there, but I, you know, I, I don't know. You know, what I mean, they, they, they just big and long shot. <laughs> yeah, they sitting back over there behind me, coach. I'm worried about more about what's in front of me. <laughs> yeah, what's yeah, behind me? <laughs> Start looking behind. I never will forget, boy. One time I was winning the 300 yeah. meter hurdle, boy. I look back. <laughs> Got to send a big shout out to my man Seth Latrell again. Pay that man, mm-hmm. North Texas. Yeah. And a big shout out to the basketball team. Big win over Indiana State. Yeah. yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. Grant McCaskill putting it together at the right time, right before the league play started. Yeah, big, big Zach, big Zach, Played made well. a big play. But yeah, made a big, big block last night. Yep, yep. You oh, know, yeah, yeah, big yeah. shout out to uh, Ross Hodge and mm. Grant McCaskill and that whole staff. Yeah, yeah. you know, and that mm. and that squad. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Love to see the athletics at UNT mm. going in the right direction. Yeah. You know, hopefully it can be sustained. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, you know, that, that that puts us. Yeah, that was one thing about when I was down in the seven seven. Uh, uh, zip code we had we had University of Houston we had a- Houston Baptist yeah. and we had Texas Southern yeah a lot of people pick from man. we had a lot of people pick from <laughs> <laughs> we gotta send a big shout out to Chad Morris and that coach at Carousel yep. shout over to Arkansas yep. well, and, and right now Tennessee has hired a coach yep. and so I guess yep. it's really you know, played it, play it safe yeah mm-hmm. yep. that, hey uh, you, they gotta thank you know who they gotta thank for that Kirby Smart okay Okay, Look what man. Kirby didn't done. Mm-hmm. You know, Kirby was at he was Kirby was at he was at Alabama two years ago. Yeah, mm-hmm. one year put play, put it in place. Second year they had, they right there. They was almost in. They were, well, they they are playing in the final four. What, what, yeah, do, you, what do you think when you see? What do you think when you see? Uh, guys getting jobs that are not coming off of necessary winning records. Mm. 
that means that means that uh that whoever did the hiring uh they knew something about that person because you don't always have to be coming from a winning program for you to be uh, that guy. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not bringing the program. They bring. They looking for that guy. You know, he got mm-hmm. that, that guy has to follow under the leadership of some people. There's some good coaches. There's, there's some programs with guys that's not winning that so, are good coaches. Right, right, right now. Okay, Florida State's done what they've done. Florida mm-hmm. hasn't hired a coach yet, right? I tell you, all Tim Tebow, man. They Flo- just trying to pick it all together. Go, Florida and Oregon are the two Power Five programs open right now, coaching vacancies in football. UCLA? They already hired somebody? Yeah, UCLA hired uh, Chip Kelly, coach. Chip Kelly, that's right. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. Hired right. Chip Kelly. Mm-hmm. Under Armour move. Well, mm-hmm. I think what's the name? Name is fumbling around over there at uh, Florida. Charlie Strong name is for- they're not They're not fumbling around in Eugene, coach. Mm-mm. They can really get it figured out. Okay. Charlie no. Strong over there. <laughs> your, man, your, man, you, your man sitting down real, real strong up there, coach. Hey. Got the answer to the test. Hey. <laughs> coach. <laughs> So they give you the answer to the test. All you do is study the answers, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you got to communicate, though. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 done, he, he done his job. He, he can't communicate when he won't communicate. Yeah, no, he, 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 he get ready to communicate. He connected. He connected. Okay, there mm-hmm. you go. He connected. He's going to be all right. That's why he hired. He hired a guy to connect for him. <laughs> yeah. He got, that's why he hired a guy. <laughs> yeah. What did he give him, what did he give him about, about, about 3 or 4% somewhere in there? Yeah. Maybe 5%? Been on, been on what, what the numbers look like? Then we huh. get them big numbers like that right there. The percentages kind of come down. You, 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 you the one got a big number. <laughs> <laughs> you the one got that big number. With them. No, uh, I know. I just know where they keep the big number. I, just, I know the big number guys, coach. They uh, yeah. <laughs> get a big number, but no big number guys. How the big number guys operate? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big number guys got to have little numbers to make big numbers. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's exactly what it is, man. We're going to get ready to go to break here let's go, just let's a little pay bit. Some, let's pay some bills. We've got to definitely pay some bills. Yeah. 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 Uh, we'll yeah. take a look at it. Man. Fast, fast Mall Sports. Go take a look at what Fast Recruit is doing now. Fast Recruit has graduated from the non, non, uh, the non-scholastic season being the, the club season and moved into the scholastic season covering high school basketball mm-hmm. and high school schedule on the recruitable players. Now you can lock in, put your schedule in, with Fast Recruit right now, and now Fast Recruit allows all of their their 300 and some D- Division One describe, subscribers to have gain access to what's going on with the prospects. Fast Mall Sports, take a look at the product, Fast Recruit. Be back in 180 seconds with more Lone Star Sports Show. We the best music, music. Oh, this what we doing here? Another one, another one. I might have to put on my jury for this one. Rave talk, rave talk, oh, we talking that rave talk. Safe talk, safe talk, here we go, talking that safe talk. Major key alert. Oh, we good now. Oh, we good now. Major bag alert. DJ Khaled. I got them keys, keys, keys. 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 We go to court, we gon' bleed the field. I know the judge, I'ma shoot him some chills. I got them keys, keys, keys. I got them keys, keys, keys. So he's asking me the key. Till you own your own, you can't be free. Till you own your own, you can't be me. How we still slaves in 2016. Keep the light, keep it bad coming. Every night, another bad coming. I ain't been asleep since 96. I ain't seen the back of my list. I've been speeding through life with no safety belt. One on one with the corner with no safety help. I put fun like Josh Norman. I ain't normal. Just a project out in Beverly Hills, California. That great talk. That's fun. Special golf talk here. On my from the mud down there. On my millionaires. We gon' take it there, I swear. You gon' think a psychic. You ain't seen nothing like this. I should probably copyright this. I promise they ain't gon' like this. I got the keys, keys, keys. 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 We go to court, we gon' bleed the film. I know the judge, I'ma shoot him some chumps. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. Got a battery low, it's like your charges. Pile out the courtroom like what charges? Big pimping on your court steps. In case y'all ain't know this, I ain't lost yet. Y'all know it's one to one soon as you hit it. Uh, uh, uh. Right. Y'all know the difference, right? From rap facts and fiction, right? Real life from like hope. Real life from life goes. In real life, they like me. In real life, I'm like, no. My swag different. That bag different, huh? My wife, Beyonce. I brag different, huh? 
My baby blue. What else? I dream in color. What else? That's too much flavor. What else? I don't rap the suckers. <laughs> God bless you all. I only talk special talk. I only talk special clock. Said I only talk special. Ah! I got them keys, keys, keys. I got them keys, keys, keys. I got them keys, keys, keys. Uh. I got them keys, keys, keys. We go to court, don't bleed them slow. I know the judge, I'ma shoot them some chips. I got them keys, keys, keys. I got them keys, keys, keys. Radar, radar, hard. Ain't even no radar. Swish. Radar, radar, hard. You ain't no radar. Swish. Radar, radar, no, no, you ain't no radar. Swish. Oh, oh, you ain't even no radar. I got the keys. Back right here for segment two <laughs> of the Lone Star Sports Show at the Waco Stoop Johnson over there. Spooky man almost jumped out of his chair when I said back like that. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> you hear me good, Coach? You got, your, you got your phones turned up too loud, Coach. <laughs> 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 you got, you got it. Got him coughing and thinking about it. Coach, when we started this show, it was cold. Now we're back. It's cold. You, you had that stocking cap on when we started, Coach. <laughs> hey, say, Coach. You know, I, I got my fans, man. Fans, my fans, my fans, fans said, "Hey, they, they like how when I was rocking that at UNT." Cause yeah. I, you know, I gotta keep. I gotta, kind of interesting. You gotta watch them up there in Denton. Now, they have a thing going on on you up there in Denton. <clears throat> they uh, they know how to reach down into the Metroplex and and get it figured out. And, uh, telling telling Grant McCastle, man. Big thing. We got big things happening right now. Cause we yeah. getting ready. To, you ready to go down to New Orleans? New Orleans Bowl next week. You gonna ride down there with them, Coach? Yeah. We talking about it, Coach. Talking about it. Get your posse together. Mm. They, talk, they talking about it. Mm. Yeah, well, some hey, gonna, some, go, some gonna be concrete yeah, tonight or tomorrow. Y'all roll up about two or three of them black, big, big, big black suburbans with tinted windows and stuff. About, all they talking about trying to get two of those. Two, all we're looking for is the drivers now. <laughs> trying to get two of those. <laughs> well, I, know, I know one driver. He was my man. Oh, 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 he drive for a living. Mm. Man, they come work the events from time to time. Be him. Be him. I sure don't need to get be him. You be right. him for line. Be him going there, either going there and making about four or five hundred dollars. Yeah, be him right right down there uh, take the pasta down there. Yeah. Y'all gotta get be him, be him out of the party when y'all get ready to go though. <laughs> be him, him over there. We ain't worried about that's Toby. <laughs> Toby, <laughs> Toby go over there and get locked in, huh? <laughs> Toby got there and get thrown out. <laughs> Told him, anybody grown to get thrown out. You just gotta sit up on the curb until we come out. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't leaving because of you. You call you call you because oh, yeah. you couldn't manage your oh, party. Bro, <laughs> folks party. We ain't at no kids party when you out there. <laughs> all that. Oh, that there yeah. you carried on going on, huh? Yeah, no, man. But it's good to have the Cowboys in, man. NBA Texas teams, basketball. We don't have to we have to waste any any paper. We have to waste any trees on the Mavericks. Mm. So now, no. Now, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> they, they, they talk up for itself. Mavericks ain't bad. Mavericks <laughs> not bad. I took a good, clean look at them, Coach. They not bad. You sound like Daryl Armstrong, Coach. Daryl well, yeah. They've won seven <laughs> games. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, they I, won seven? I, I yeah. didn't say they oh, won. Okay. I'm just looking at They coming at, on up there. See, yeah. it's so early to be. See, we, we record watching too hard right now. I'm watching them come together and watching that team. The, the Mavericks are going to put together, they're going to put together a couple of those seven out of tens. Watch what I tell you. Yeah, they're gonna try to make a little push. They're gonna make a push, man. I'm telling you. I don't need them to. We just gotta get. We just need. You ready for the tank? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we can. We need to rebuild. <laughs> well, you gonna do that. Rebuild. You continue to build. Continue to build. Right. With the, with the Mavericks, yeah. they continue to build. Yeah. yeah. But they ain't gonna fix that today. Because one one thing one thing you one you know, thing you got to realize never, about their point guard is in the situation of the point guard, that kid did not have that good quality year. Of college basketball, anytime a, a player loses, especially a point guard, mm-hmm. my Dennis, yeah, yeah, loses coach in halfway through the year. Dennis playing good basketball though. Uh, he's coming along. Yeah, he's coming. Uh, along. I had a visit with him. That's Daryl's. That's yeah. Daryl's job. Yeah. Okay, he the one doing. He's doing a good job. Dennis doing a good job. You know, I mean, one one of the things that that, that coach pointed out to me is that, Branch, you got to understand, this kid is in the NBA, going and making plays. And with non-calculated plays, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> making them look easy. Yeah, he, he said, got a lot of Steve Francis in him. Coach. Yeah, he, and, he said he just and old Derrick Rose. Yeah, he just and the old Derrick Rose. That's a good, great call there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Prince coming on up yeah. there. Good call, Prince. <laughs> yeah, but you know that that's one of the things that that uh that that he that he pointed out about him. He said, "Man, you got to understand, man. This kid can get to spots. He just doesn't hasn't really truly identified the options." When he gets to the spots, yeah, that's that's the thing that still feel him. He gets there and says, you know, well, let's see, we'll, we'll figure it out when we get there. Mm-hmm. And you I'm know exactly what he's doing. And, and you know, a point guard at that level 
ha- there has to be a level of calculation yeah. of knowing what the options are going to be. When you then it, and, then it, and then his height, his height doesn't help him. Yeah, you know some of those things he can't see, so he's trying to he's going off of hope, hoping and trusting mm-hmm. that you out there. And, and 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 you know, like I know, is probably maybe the highest basketball IQ in the room right here. That the the in basketball, the smaller you are, the smarter you got to be. Right, you, that's, yeah. that's exactly correct. <laughs> you know, because you can't see what some people can see. That's just like mm-hmm. Drew Brees and, 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 and my man up there in Seattle and those guys, Coach. I mean, the reason he holds on the ball so long, got to scramble, he don't see some of those quick things. Right. Yeah. He has to let it break down and get out so he can clear it and mm-hmm. see it. See it. See it. Right. right. You, yeah. know? you know. So Drew Brees, I mean, I mean Drew Brees, he got to trust it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. Drew Brees going to throw off – I mean, he going he gonna to make his one, two, three, four, uh, five and, and plant and let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or one, two, three, or whatever he gonna do. Yeah, he no, and, and, and 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 he knows what high percentage places to throw it to, where where you know seven, eight times out of ten, the results are gonna be good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and Big, the, Big E said we got Big E's over here at YouTube Live. Big E says Dennis Smith is the best talent in the draft. Hmm. I'm yeah. telling you, I took a good look at him the other night. He's one of them. You know, coach, uh, he's one of them. Yeah, he's one of them. He's one Donovan of them. Mitchell's been looking really good. Donovan Mitchell is, is the best right now. Yeah. yeah. It was a good draft, though, man. That was a great draft. <laughs> that, that, that was a great draft. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, I still – That kid, that kid, that kid, Markel Folk's going to be a good player. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jason I, uh, Tatum, Laurie yeah. Markinen. Yeah. Right. Right. The kid, the Knicks are drafting. Darion Fox is in that group. Yeah. Or you got the uh, you got you got the kid at, uh, with the Lakers or uh, the ball boy. They didn't put Fox back to the bench. Coming yeah. off the bench again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't start, but with like two or three games. Yeah. They did that for TV. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just keep the keep the yeah. keep the value up. Yeah, go that line up, go that line up with Lonzo. Lonzo had to go in there showing what's up. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I guess. Did y'all remember that? Y'all, y'all remember that alley oop they threw Lonzo against yeah. against Fox? You saw it. Yeah, I saw. It. You saw how high he went on that ball. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, I just can't wait. I just can't wait till Lonzo go in there and just had that big fight with with Levar. He gonna be right after that. <laughs> he gonna be right after that. Tell, tell Levar your man you now. Yeah. the bills. kid is talented. The kid, the thing that he doesn't, the kid, the thing he's not. I thought he was a little more mental tough. He's not as mentally tough. I thought as long as he's been a star, a superstar out there, you know, all the, the lights and stuff. I didn't Valley think, boy, Coach. Yeah, I didn't think it phased him like Valley that. Boy, I coach. thought he was going to have more of the. He's he, he not that comfortable in watching the work, Coach. No, I ain't talking about like that. <laughs> that's, talking about, that's what I said. I said the mental toughness. Right. When you watch him, the camera's been following him and the hype been on him since college. Mm-hmm. And you kind of think that. You kind of think that he already can handle the mental tough. I ain't talking about the physical tough part of it. No, no, I'm not talking about the physical. I'm talking about just the overall. Yeah. But see, thing you got to understand about mental toughness because mental toughness comes from adversity, right? And that's yeah. what that's what I'm saying. Now he's going to become mental too tough from this, right? Yeah. From this, you know, you become mentally tough from adversity when you don't know what the answer is, and you got to keep on waking up every morning. That's what makes you mentally tough. Yeah. Right? You know, you 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 know, people think, uh, you know. What what develops a guy, with you know the, the physical side of the toughness? I mean that's that that just kind of comes with the territory, but but the ability that where things have always been worked out for you, things have always been planned for you. You don't have to be mentally tough. <laughs> yeah, no, that's right. <laughs> you just yeah, show up, yeah, yeah. and it always works out. Yeah, especially Lavar, the way Lavar run things. There you go. Where, right. You know, yeah, it ain't never your fault. Yeah, ain't, right. It's, there yeah. you go. Now that now you ain't exactly. While we on the BBB crew out there right now, it took all the rest of the boys. No college basketball for them. Yeah, they didn't win yeah. sign with the agent and everything. Everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Talking yeah. about Lavar's a damn fool, ain't he? Yeah, I tell you, I tell you about three months ago. <laughs> I mean, Lavar is. Like, I mean, Lavar is really an idiot. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Nothing. Huh? Boy, trying to hold on, man, because right I now. I told you that one day. I was a big fan of LeVar. I hate, I hate LeVar, man. I hate LeVar Ball, man. Well, you know, Ooh, my, 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 my whole thing on, on LeVar Ball is is that, you know, I admire him for, for, for being active and being a part of his son's life and a part of the process. But I was talking to a guy today that, that has a prodigy, and I, I gave him a bit of advice. There, enough people are not going to like you on your own. You don't have to go out and make people not like you. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, you, get, you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. You know, there's no need of making people dislike you just because, you know, you you you, you that you feel like that's your 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 way of of staying in the news and doing these things. I got to figure out something else crazy to do. Well, with what Lavar is doing right now, that tell you 
that that some of his hype is dying down. See, Lavar, yeah, Lavar, yeah, exactly Lavar, <laughs> don't, Lavar don't like how y'all don't, y'all didn't catch a hole to where all the the sports shows and all that didn't stop bringing them in. Yeah, yeah. see, because all them all them during the summer they were saying we're the one feeding into it, bringing him on the shows and all that, keeping it. They ain't had Lavar on no shows lately, right? So he has to do something. Well, yeah, and he started so he started looking for publicity stunts. Yeah. And his publicity stunts. Levar, Levar is a true example of living through your kids. Yeah, he Vicarious is a true. He is true, a, a true example of living yeah. through your kids. Because I mean, a guy brought up to me point and said, "Man, you, do you realize how close Michael Jordan and his father were?" Yeah, but you didn't see Michael Jordan's father, you know, Out swinging from the rafters, being, being a clown, being a clown. You know, but a lot of people didn't even know who his father was. Yeah, the father was very active in his yeah. life, very close. Yeah, you know. Kyrie yeah. Irving, daddy, be around. I mean, yeah, he yeah. did everything with him. But he told him, man, I'm in the back. They yeah. want to talk to him on the thing. He said, no, this is Kyrie thing. Right, yeah. yeah. You, know? I, you just there to support. But Kyrie, daddy, could play. Yeah. You know, I mean, he could play. He wasn't no pro in them, but he could play. But, right. I mean, when you when you respect the LeVar game. LeVar's a big old scrub. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying he didn't finish nothing back then. LeVar went there and dropped up and quit the team. I mean, right, right. State. I mean, yeah, he was up there with your boys. Tried same, to play in the NFL. He got the same, yeah. yeah. Max, Max got the same mentality right now. Yep, 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 yep. You know. <laughs> But I mean that's that that's a hype, that instant gratification, you know, treat the game overnight success type thing. You know, I mean, it, there's only so much of that, coach. I yeah. mean, at some point you gotta settle down. One of the things we're gonna talk about tonight on the show is I, is that I hope that I hope that, that Jello and the Mello can go over there and get them little go over there and get them little uh fifteen hundred dollar a month job over in Mexico somewhere. Well if I go with them, because he gonna go with them. Cause Mello's just too young. He going with them. If he go with them, then he get the hell out of Lonzo way. Yeah, I can see that too. Yeah. You know, get up out of Lonzo way. Yeah. Right now, he 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 too much in Lonzo mix right now. Yeah. Lonzo girl, when Lonzo go marry that girl, then he gonna really he gonna have yeah. a problem. Vaughn gonna have a problem there. That, that, that does it. That pillow talk is a monster. I'll tell you, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pillow talk is a monster. Watch them. Go, get... go check Lonzo. <laughs> go check Lonzo out on Instagram and stuff yeah. like that. They, yeah. they living together or something. Yeah, see, it's getting close. She gonna get the calculating around and going on and, and figuring out. Boy, don't ever underestimate a woman, coach. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, LeVar can't swipe that credit card no, no more. No, no. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I tell you, soon as that, soon as that happened right there, the dream gonna die because Lonzo Le- 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 gonna go sign him a Nike deal. Yeah, yeah. And now yeah. LeVar, you go sell them, you go well, sell them shoes with, you go uh, sell them shoes with with, well, with Jello and with Jello and Mello. Yeah, hey, hey, cool. the, the, and, the and Jello it, Mello Awards. Jello Mello Awards. You can sell that in Croatia. Good name, LeVar. Why did he get that? The Jello Mello Awards. Sell to Croatia. What one thing that I always. I always get a man, and you're a father, and I'm a father, and one of these days he will be. But when a woman look at you and ask you, what, what about our kids? What about our house? What about our deal? That's where the man, the manhood will come out of the man if he's a man, and that's what you're going to see go into that situation. But as we get ready to go to break, we're going to come back. We're talking more basketball right here on Basketball Thursday at the Lone Star Sports Show on the Lone Star Sports Network. Pay that uh, man. Uh, pay Seth Latrell. <laughs> pay that man. You try to watch over here campaign. Talking about who getting the percentage. We got to check on you. On before he go to before he go to SMU. Before he go to SMU. Yeah. Hey, that's a good point. We back in 180 seconds with more Lone Star Sports Show. Y'all, y'all on Periscope. Y'all chime in and break over there to Lone Star Sports Network on YouTube Live. Back in 180 seconds. Bridge Basketball Skills Academy begins your road to success with our foundation classes. These classes were created for the beginning basketball player who needs fundamental training rather than game training. These classes provide a progressive mastery of skills that are unique in our industry. We focus on creating a strong foundation by learning technique rather than just focusing on dribbling, passing, or shooting. Our unique combination of a skills matrix within a creative learning environment allows our trainees to learn skills faster than if they just practice general concepts of the game. It's not what we teach, it's how we teach it that makes the difference. Classes start at $30 for ages 7 and up. Sign up today when we get back on the line or find more information online at bridgebasketballacademy.com. You, you set the standard for the future generation. Yeah. Slum village with the feeling, get it, be the betcha, I'ma kill it. Huh. You ain't ready for the realest, high sucker rapper to the ceiling. Look, my 
Cash flow is sick as hell. Had to bail my baby out of jail. I'm doing me and I do it well. You think I'm white cool? You to tell. Are you hype, boy? Silly. You a square like Piccadilly. Uh, I do not care how you feeling. Uh, I thought you knew I'm a villain. Yeah. I don't like it when these jokers looking at me sideways on a highway. Cause you know I'm about to do it my way. To the misfits blow Pompeii. Jay, you driving it the wrong way. I do not see what you're seeing. Lately, I feel European. Salmon, I'm swimming up stream. Look, I don't know what you would doubt. You know I'm coming for the crown Drop an album, kids wanna party Get the f*** down my house This is Hidden Hills, how are you allowed? I cut the music, it was loud You don't deserve my respect when I talk to Kendrick Man, I sit on the ground Just to get a little reference So we have no confusion My flow, Call of Duty, Prestige Seeing through your illusions The Illuminati's real, that's the deal Write a book so I can prove it All you rappers just a nuisance It's always been more than the music Now they're looking at my new fit Rocket control on the floor of a Louis V store And I'm sorry, I'm stupid Riding the metro, we booming All the misfits come together in a Tesla and we zoom in. Hey, here we are back here. Segment three at the Lone Star Sports Show right there on the Lone Star Sports Network. Y'all chime in. Got my man Snoop Johnson over here. Rocking all the UNT stuff, Mean Green, things going pretty good in Denton right now. So we we got the wagon loaded. They headed to New Orleans this weekend. I mean, Cole, why you keep saying that? You trying to get trying to piss somebody off or something? You, you keep keep saying that. They can see that. Yeah, all right. they can well, see that. Put it out there, Coach. You want to have time? He's promoting you, Coach. He's just saying stuff. I'm promoting you, Coach. I mean, I mean. I'm promoting. I'm just wearing it. Who said I'm trying to get promoted? I'm promoting. I didn't say you were trying to get promoted. I'm, you said you, you promote. I'm promoting the program. Okay. I, I spoke with Grant the other day. Yeah. Coach, we, says, we, we got you, Coach. We you just keep saying Snoop rocking in the oh, yeah. 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 yeah, you got enough of it on there, Coach. Alan Branch is rocking the under arm. Under under right. What's up? You ain't doing line it up too. Right. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to you eight. <laughs> write that check. <laughs> write, that, write that check. Storm basketball in the yeah. house. Yeah. Who's storm basketball? The place I work for. Oh, okay. Yeah, so write that check. check. <laughs> <laughs> so you both be working right there. So now tell you, that was supposed to be work. Like, like for the whole deal. They, write, they writing the check. Yeah. Coach, tell me about this NBA thing. What this thing gonna look like by the time we get to Biggie? But excuse me. First of all, Biggie say he said, Mister Brad, he said we play for the high school during the high school season. Mm. He said that's how guys get burnt out like that. Okay. So his guys don't go year round. They go year round. Yeah. He lets them go. Let them go. Huh? Go play then for high school. Then bring them back in. Then they come back and play for high school. Okay. That's what Biggie said. Okay. Yeah. Hey, tell Biggie Dallas Showtime. I'm with you. A super E. Mm. I'm with you. Whatever, you, whatever it formally is, you've been well, you doing should, it for a long time. You well, had a you little scared of he, 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 he said, Ian, he, he called himself real quick. Super E. Super E. <laughs> <laughs> he, he showed, ooh, for a big E show, got him in a drink. He got some juice around his camp, coach. I, okay, I mean, but you show, you don't never slip, though. You you go from E, super E. <laughs> <laughs> you catch yourself real quick. You don't even let it get out real e, quick. E, E, E. E, e, is e, e, e ain't number one. E, e, you know what that, sound. E, you, you know, know what that is. E. Yeah. You know what that is. What? Uh, uh, Snoop trying to handle me a little bit. No, nah, I ain't trying to handle you. I'm just saying <laughs> that's not even a long word, Irvin, or the whole word, the like person last okay, name. Just it's just, just Irvin e. Davis. It's just E, and he can't even get E Ir- out of his name. Ir- Irvin Davis. I'm saying he the, can't the, even get the E. Operator and founder. Of, I'm saying you of, can't of, even get the Dallas full Showtime basketball. He can't even get a full E. Out of his name before he got a Super E. Super E. Can I clean up right quick? Super E. So what's on the topic? Hmm? What's the next topic? Next, we're still on NBA <laughs> basketball, man. We still got to talk hold about. On, man. Hold on, hey, hold on, man. You don't, it, don't get in the middle of. High level stuff going on over here. What's up? 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 What's up?
me. That's what he told yeah, That's the road. He let you know why he, yeah, he, where where he got where he got where he's he going. Guessing, he ain't guessing I mean, no more now. That's you got six weeks in 2018, and you got three weeks. Got nine weeks. Nine weeks times three. You got 27 basketball games, coach. To do what? And where are we gonna be at the, the All Star break in the NBA? I'm talking about to do what? I mean, you saying it in what reason? We're gonna be able to get a midseason that All Star break evaluation. Oh, on the All Star back. Okay, I didn't yeah. know what you were talking about. I mean, you just said yeah, it. A, a whole, whole, I know whole, what you whole deal of situation. Yeah. Okay. You know it. Uh, you know you got you got the Rockets sitting there. What the Rockets been on vacation or something? No, the Rockets playing well. Yeah. I mean, they, they eighteen and four. Yeah. And and. They played 22 games. Oh, you talking about the game? Now, but they finna play. While you seeing some of these things, like the Lakers be having these four days off. Yeah, the Lakers right. didn't had two sets of four days off. Yeah, right. they're, they're I mean, playing tonight. With them starting early, coach, they had to do some of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the Warriors. They, they giving teams that rest. Warriors played 26 yeah. games, and the Rockets have played 22 games. But the way they designed it by starting early, yeah, they, yeah. they, they want to give everybody a little rest, rotating around. It like just that. rotate. You can't give right. them all a rest. Right. Got them TV contracts. Contracts to fulfill. Yeah. Right. We only got so many. They got more, got more teams than yeah. we got networks. What about the Spurs? It's well, time. It's gonna be. It's go- time for the Spurs right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're sitting right there Kawhi where they want to be. Kawhi Leonard is not coming back Friday. He'll be back Saturday. Mm-hmm. That's fine. That's Popovic <laughs> saying that second game is more important than that first game. Right. Yeah. We can yeah. get that first game. Just give him a little bit more That's time. Your, your boys. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a big believer in Popovich. I mean, yeah. uh, and I'm a big believer because of, of, the, of the the realistic perspective and, and the way he goes. God, he just pushed my man down. Tech. Come on, coach. You got it. I can't do that. Focus like that. Can't lose a focus like that. Because they pull a stunt right there, coach. Okay, you, got people you got people listening to us for dialogue right hey. now. I mean, hey, bro, they want to know what's going on too. Coach. I mean, they got a TV looking at that. They looking at you right now. Yeah, well, we got that. We got the opportunity to, to, okay. to like we are TV, uh, huh, coach? Okay. I mean, yeah, you go, you're moving the TV now. Yeah, moving the TV now. A TV slash radio, whatever. You want. Yeah, we got the whole thing Communication. going. Communication, yeah, full blown media entity, media yes, entity, yeah, okay. platform, yeah. yeah. Mm. Let's get back to the let's get back over here to the, to but, the uh, run sheet. But my point being is, is, is that the, the Warriors are, are rolling up some some W's right now, mm-hmm. and you know, the Rocket, Rockets got to roll right back in here and uh and go to work. Yes, right, is my yeah. real point. And we're talking about what's going on with them leading the West, and when when they roll back in here, they got the Jazz, Trail Blazers, Pelicans, Hornets. Oh, yeah, we'd be all right, Spurs. Yeah. Books, yeah, yeah. That's that's five. And go five and six, four right. and four and six, and that's go, true. Go pull my boys. Go pull my boys. Pull their schedule. Up. Five, five and one, four and two. Pull pull us up right quick. I know we eight. And, what we eight, eight and 15, fifteen. Eight fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Seven game under. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pull you, pull you us got, up right quick. You got Philly. You got Philly see, tonight. See exactly. We got Philly tonight in Philly. That's yeah. gonna be a tough one. Yeah, yeah. you got Philly. Yeah. Then you got Charlotte on on Saturday yeah. at the Charlotte. You got a four game road. Yeah, you're on the road four games. Then you got. We're gonna get Charlotte. Yeah, then you got New York next yeah, Tuesday. You gotta go. You gotta go to Brum it's Brum. Be a tough game. When we go to Brum Brum? Thursday, go, next Thursday. Next Thursday on ESPN. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. ESPN game. Well, oh, we stay on that TV. America's yeah. team. <laughs> <laughs> we stay on that. Because you'll get Thursday next Thursday. The bad the process. They gonna have the deal is they gonna have Brum Brum on national TV. No, but no, but Brum Brum play against Zoe. Yeah. That's, Y'all better recognize That's a big night You, you, got, you, got, you, you got, got a tough You got a tough schedule Everybody got a tough schedule Come on man Nobody want to hear all that <laughs> oh, Everybody okay. got a tough schedule Everybody got a tough schedule Y'all heard it Y'all hear it I'm just saying When you called out The other schedule A few minutes ago You said they got a tough schedule They got a tough schedule too The whole deal I mean you go 76ers Hornets You don't know who you gonna lose Cavaliers Warriors Rockets Back at the Warriors again Coach We didn't already We didn't already beat Detroit Coach you better lay something out To you right there We didn't beat something Next seven games. Tell me how many games can y'all win in the next seven games. We're going to take it one at a time. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to take it one at a time. Y'all heard it. We're not, we're not, we're not getting into the seven games and all that no more. That's, that's what's happening. We're looking too far ahead. We're going no, we 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 to get, get back. Here, here. By Christmas, y'all got y'all get Trailblazers and Timberwolves. Well, come, get back. As bad as we are at 8-15, <laughs> as bad as we are at 8-15, we're not, we not but five games out. Of, of what third or fourth place? Fourth place, I mean. Fourth mm-hmm. place, we five games out. Fourth place, you are seven. Seven games out. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Fifteen and eleven is Minnesota. Yeah. Fifteen might that, that ain't quite 15. seven though. Well, <laughs> it's probably like six. <laughs> I mean, he's a six. Here we go. Six must and be the fifth spot. Must be fifth spot. I'm talking. Got that funny math going no, on. No, no. Yeah, fifth spot. Fifth spot. Yes. Fifth spot. You in the year? You five out. That's what I told y'all earlier. We, it, we can go anywhere from four to seven. And you're one game from being last place in the West. At the end? Yeah. That's fine. 
That's, that that means if we don't make the playoffs, we can be right. We, we can be where we need to be. We can be where we need to be in the draft. Y'all, y'all watch. Y'all heard my word right now. I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all mark this prediction down. Y'all can stamp it, type it, do whatever. It's going to be recorded. Before the year is old, we're Snoop Johnson going to be going to be talking about where they're going to fall in the lottery on the draft. We not. We don't have a draft pick this year in the first round. They'll trade everything off. No, it, 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 after, after a couple of years, you know, at first – you be bad for so long. All, they still won't let you. No, it was always. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, you know, the pick was conditional. The pick was conditional. So you know, if we didn't get, if we didn't stay in the top, like top four, uh-huh. we was gonna lose to Philly. Yeah. But after two years, they went away. So Philly got it anyway. Now right. that's next year, and so Philly, I think. Philly had. But y'all pick. still be in the lottery though, huh? No, we can't be in nothing. Yeah, we, can't be in you nothing. Don't have we don't have no first round pick. Wow, we don't need no first round pick. We, we do drafting. You go do some trade nah, work now. Nah, free agents. we do draft. We free agent money now. Yeah, free agent. trade free agency. Yeah, I mean, nah, you go that's acquire. That's you go, not, not the there. You go acquire. You go acquire some acquisition yeah. through the means of acquisition yeah. and trading that's and free right. agency are the two two <coughs> mediums of acquisition. That's right. In the NBA, that's right. You guys can be winners in the free agency next year. Well, they're gonna get an opportunity. They have to take yeah. a look at it. That that's the whole deal. I. You know, I'm still kind of struggling. You know, I'm a, I'm a little I'm a little disappointed, but I got my three three of mine are in there. When you go back over to the three of yours, how many teams you got? I'm talking I about think we, top, we, top five. We, we predicted the top top oh, four. It's too early top for that. Four. It's too early. We don't know where these guys going in. It's Coach, way too. It's way too early for that. Coach, Rockets, Warriors, and Spurs. Okay, I mean, mm-hmm. I mean they could them guys could drop and or they could stay up there. We don't know. We just we we just assuming because they got good teams. So, I mean, like LeBron, LeBron way down there. A couple of weeks ago, but then none of us believe they were going to stay down there. So well, they weren't that way down yeah. there. Yeah, they were. They were way down yeah, there. Yeah, I think they were ninth at one point. Okay, ninth. Yeah. I, I thought you were talking about, when you started talking about way down there, I thought you were talking about 12, 13, yeah, 14. Yeah. They yeah. were close. Mm-hmm. They were close. Yeah, well, just, like, just like we not in 12th or 13th place, but he just told you we won place out of the, out of the end. Yeah, yeah. Well, 13, 13 games. What are we games? sitting at about 10th? Uh, 11th. We at 11th? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thir- 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 13, uh, 13 wins in a row get you. Back up to where you need to be. It get you well. Yeah, we're not focusing on that, Coach. We're just trying to get better. Coach. One game at a time. We don't get better. One game at a time. If we can't. You know, S- 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 seven, eight game thing, boy, look rough. It, I felt kind of bad for the league. Yeah. If we yeah. can't win a world. Somebody in the schedule and office don't like it. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> so when, you got a, when you got an organization like the Lakers, it's mm-hmm. not just about the playoffs. If we can't win a championship, it's about growing our players. We want to grow our players. No, we're take a little our time. Coach, we need to know if Luke is Luke Walton the guy moving forward well, when yeah, we bring. Like no, I'm saying, no, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. We need to know is he the guy because he's learning too. We need to know mm-hmm. is he the guy. So when we bring mm-hmm. our real team in, we Luke need to do a good job we'll of bring developing the real team in. You heard him. No, we need to do a good job of be- developing Lonzo, mm-hmm. developing all our young guys, seeing the older guys. If we're gonna keep Julius around on some of those guys, we need to know if we're gonna keep. I remember we were talking about 50 wins for the Lakers. I think that's. Yeah, it it's not out of reach, but it's probably That's not going to happen. What, what you Coach, I, I told you mathematically a while what you thought ago. I was gonna, you, yeah, thought I goal, I, I, you thought our goal was going to be to win 30 games? <coughs> Come on, man. Be <laughs> I mean, that's where it's, do, that's where it's going to. We're going for 50 wins. Lone Star Sports <laughs> Show right here on the Lone Star Sports Network. This particular segment is brought to you by Bridge Basketball Academy, located there in Duncanville, Texas, at the Duncanville Fieldhouse. Go take a look and a listen. We'll be back in 180 seconds to Snoop Johnson get through doing the Lake, Los Angeles Lakers calculations. <laughs> You can't touch me. I'm too, 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 too high up. You can't touch me. I'm about to, too, too, too rise up. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Fire on fire, fire on fire on fire. Fire, fire. I woke up like this. I'm buttoned up like this. I turn up like this. All I wanna do is burn it up like this. I stay like that. Low go straight cray like that. I kill it, 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 kill it. Tell him, tell him I'm on a play like that. I'm the man in here. Spend a hundred fifty grand in here. So hot, need a fan in here. Oh yeah, they're playing my jam in here. It's an inferno. If you don't know, baby, now you know. Say, oh, we do, we do. Come on, oh, we do, we do. 
you can't touch me. I'm too 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 high up. You can't touch me. I'm about to 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 rise up. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Ooh ah ooh ah ooh ah. I rock like this. I rock like this. I make it hot like this. I make it hot like this. I'm about to drop it like this. I'm all the way up on the top like this. I'm advanced like that. I do my little dance like that. I kill it, 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 kill it. Then I call the ambulance like that. It's going down in here. Y'all know where the crown in here. Y'all know I got the gold in here. Oh yeah, I like the way it's sounding here. It's a volcano. If you didn't know, baby, now you know. Say, oh we do, we do. Come on, oh we do, we do. You can't touch me. I'm too, 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 too high up. You can't touch me. I'm about to, 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 to rise up. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Ooh, I, ooh, I, ooh, I, I'm hey, we're right back here at the Long Star Sports Show. Where we getting? Right down to the halfway mark, approaching that right there, going in segment number four right here at the Lone Star Sports Show. We'll be looking at it on Basketball Thursday. Snoop Johnson, Money and Money, once known as the Rook, graduated to the Prince, Lady Life on the ones and twos over there, keeping the whole operation where it's supposed to be, and yours truly, Alan Branch here, the Lone Star Sports Show on the Lone Star Sports Network. Snoop Johnson, how many how many Division One conferences? No, it's, it's, it's quiz I wanted. How many Division One conferences in the in the in the state of Texas? Division One conferences in the state of Texas. Mm, that means you don't know. Mm-hmm. You know the answer, to that coach. Mm. Coach, coach probably, probably coach probably know about, about how many you think it is, coach. Mm. I know, no, I know how many. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't know. You got five of them. Yeah, it's a total of eight. Mm. Eight. Oh, you talk, Division One conference? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a Big Twelve, SEC, SEC AAC. AAC. You, I left AAC. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Conference USA, Southland, Sun Belt, yeah. Southland, no, SWAC, right. and the WAC. The WAC is the one that throws you off because we got one WAC team. Yeah, mm. one WAC team. <clears throat> one WAC team. <clears throat> At one time, we had a couple of one one, one SEC team too. One SEC yeah. team too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna go down the list, guys, and 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 all of all of y'all. You can give me a, a, a five word or less response when I call this team's name out, mm. and and you can we can say this or, or however you want to go about expressing. But I'm gonna go down the list. How many, y'all, know, y'all know how many teams? Division what's one that, teams. What's that little thing you be doing? Hold that little thing out right there. <laughs> well, yeah, and yeah. you say something you feel good about. You. Say, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You only do it when you feel good about oh, it. Uh, you, know, you, know, you, you study the load. No, when you got yeah, when you got a, when you got a question that you feel like you didn't put a good question out there. Yeah, you lay one out there on the stage. <laughs> Hold your little bit. Make us think a little bit. You go to you go to uh, you get to the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, got, yeah. Got, 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 got that one from, got that one from Rabbit Thomas probably. Rabbit, mm-hmm. okay. Rabbit used to used to, used to walk off with pace like that. Yeah, him and Willie Durin both. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we got how many Division One schools we got in the in the state of Texas? Twenty three. Mm. You remember that? He's a good student. Mm. <laughs> yeah, you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I didn't lie. I knew, I, I knew that from his go when you called me. I don't do, on on the grunt. Yeah, I'm saying, I mean, let the, he can't have his credit. You got to let him know he's a student. I mean, <laughs> he doing good. Though. I mean, but I'm just saying, they like to line him up in here well, in, 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 well, in the pre show. But I'm saying, I gotta see. But I'm saying, if you didn't want him to get the credit for it, you should have said it before. You should when you asked the question, you should you should have said, "I oh, should know the answer to that." We go over it every day. <laughs> you wait till he answer. You wait till he answer, and then they he, give him credit for it. And then you go in there and say, he's "Good student." Yeah, good. Well, he's coming along, man. I mean, watch it. You, 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 you watch the tricks. Yeah. He's tricky. I mean, he's, he's tricky. He's, he's tricky. tricky. Oh, Hey, you going there a few minutes ago trying to handle me? You you let him handle you. <laughs> I wasn't trying to handle you. I was trying to handle the. Hey, he's trying, he's yeah, trying to handle the set. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, handled the whole operation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was handling the whole operation. Yeah. Uh, oh, Baylor man. Bears. Okay. Five words. What about Baylor? Your, your response right now, Snoop Johnson. Got no words. For solid. Him. They solid. Uh, solid play. Experienced point guard. Guards play is experienced. 
they uh they'll be a tournament team. Okay, there we go. They'll be a tournament team. Hmm. Uh, yeah, they're gonna be a tournament team. Be a different eight nine seed. I can see them. Eight okay. or nine seed. Yeah. At the at the at the Big Twelve. No, 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 no. no. Eight or nine seed in the tournament. tournament, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no. No, they, they, they more like a. I think they're more like a, a four to five, four to six in the Big Twelve. Big Twelve. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A six. I'm just kind of saying. I'm worried about that Madison's kid not being there anymore. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's going long. University of Texas in Austin. Mm. Tournament team. Yeah, definitely tournament. Team. Sit, tournament. Sit, sitting right in, right, right, right in the tr- in the trenches there. They, 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 they gonna compete for the uh, Big Twelve championship. Texas will. They have the ability. I, I mean, it's 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 good not to be your best right, right now. now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd like to see where they're at in a couple months. Yeah. I don't even see a couple months. Where where are they in? Yeah, almost close. right now. Right yeah, now, like, they in like, four weeks. Right, yeah, right yeah, now, right, right now yeah. in the Big Twelve. Right now, the conference ain't started, but right now they they to me they three to five right now. Three yeah, to five. Mm-hmm. go with that. Yeah, I still I still would love to see them play a little bit more of a, of a, of a true smile forward. Big Twelve is gonna kind of get rough. Well, and, Kansas and, and, got and, and, a, Kansas got a chance and, to kind of see and, that a little bit. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this out there to you. I've been preaching that in Austin for for three years now. They don't have one. Okay. They don't have one. Yeah. When the, the kid that went to Purdue mm-hmm. out of a, the UN kid, Daniel's nephew, Eden that's Ewan. That's what they was going after. Mm-hmm. I was trying to tell them that that's, that's going to give you that. You got to have that what, matchup. What's guy. wrong with that kid? Yeah. I ain't seen him play that much at Purdue. Yeah. We're off the record talk. Too. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Zaire, what's Zaire's last name? Smith. Smith. Yeah, they yeah. were going after him then. That's, that's that, so they understood that they what they was missing. Yeah, no, we okay. discussed that. Yeah, that's, that's they don't have one. Yeah. They don't have that matchup. They don't have that. What's the kid that played at Oregon? Is it in the yeah. NBA now? Yeah, they don't have. They don't have Dylan a, Brooks. They don't have a Dylan Brooks. They don't well, have a. Well, a lot of teams don't have Dylan Brooks. Well, but I'm talking about that position. That yeah. three. See, right now we got into basketball. You're not getting off track, but but that three four four three type guy. I mean, you had him with with they, D'Angelo. They, 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 that's gonna really give them some problems, boy. When they play Texas Tech. Yeah, Texas Tech got about three of those type of guys. Yeah. yeah. Those yeah. guys are matchup nightmares, coach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> those guys are night matchup nightmares because anytime you get the versatility in one body that can guard, so you got a kid like D'Angelo Allen that mm-hmm. played for you. Mm-hmm. That coach, that joke could sit down and guard. He was six, seven, six, eight, but he could sit down and guard a right. six, two high school oh, kid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, <clears throat> Juwan Evans. He was guarding five eleven. Yeah, I want to tell you right now, one of the mm-hmm. toughest guys that ever guard, uh, guard him. Right, you know, because he knew how to sit down and use angles and use right. his length. Right, and when you when you <clears> got <throat> that kind of versatility, it's a challenge. Yeah, I mean, uh, Big, Big E just made a good point with the kid. I know you're gonna get to mm-hmm. TCU in a minute, but uh, you talked about TCU with that big kid at the. I didn't know that kid was still in school. That Kendrick Williams kid. Yeah, for yeah. TCU had a big game. I mean, you gotta have that, coach. Yeah, he let him in school. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Yeah. That's what I'm right. talking about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You gotta have that now. Now the one thing with Shaka Smart. If uh if a team like Texas went into Texas Tech and pressed the hell out of them, you got a whole new a whole new ball game. Yeah, yep, yep. No, it, it can get interesting then. They, you Tech. saw that. You saw that with VCU. Texas yeah. Tech wanted to protect that ball, coach. Yeah, yeah. Kansas yeah. gonna make them protect it. Yeah, and you don't have that 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 point where your point guard play gets a little bit a little a little yeah. can show up on you. Real Bill not gonna go, Bill not gonna go through what he went through last night. He gonna put a little more pressure on you now mm-hmm. in the future. Mm-hmm. Well, Bill, Bill got some other things. Bill doesn't make the twenty three list in Texas. He's close by. He he's yeah. a, he got a he got a passport down here, yeah, he but he, he doesn't have big citizenship. 12, yeah, he's big twelve. He's mm-hmm. Big twelve guy. We're talking Texas right yeah. now. Yeah, all things Texas, Te- all things sports. There you go. Hey, Texas Tech. Mm. Texas Tech right now. Uh, you seen much of them, Prince? Texas yeah, Tech right now. I, I go, seen the game. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm gonna go Texas Tech anywhere. They can go <clears throat> anywhere between three and five right now. Right Conference, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. NCAA tournament team, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. TCU, they can make a run. TCU is a TCU is solid. TCU right now is a, uh, is a top, <coughs> top three team to me mm-hmm. in the mm-hmm. district. Mm-hmm. I mean, in the division, mm-hmm. they lead top top three. Yeah, I'm assuming y'all having no flashbacks over there with KKDA yeah. with, the, with, the, with the Kimball Knights over there. Yeah. They say the top in the district. Yeah. <laughs> they say top in the league. They, yeah. Top three. I, th- I think they top three in the league. The reason for it, I think they uh, they have a lot of depth. They yeah. have a lot of depth at the point guard oh. position. Uh, they can shoot the ball. They can go inside. Then they can make a sweet 16 run? They, de- they defend. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me hold up on that. I got to see if – 
I got to see if they got a sweet 16 point guard. Yeah. You know? They got a sweet 16 point guard. Well, I, gotta, yeah. I, I, I said, mean, you got to see. That's you got to see that. I got to see yeah, it, But I'm right. reacting to your, co- yeah. your point. But you're raising your voice. You're raising your voice Jay, like, Jay, I, like I said something wrong. No, I didn't say it was wrong. All I said is how strong. asked me. That's how strong I feel about Jalen Fisher. But that's what I'm saying. I like Jalen Fisher. Honey asked me. Are they sweet 16? Mm-hmm. And I said. They got to see a little bit more about that. I said, that. I got to see, see if they, they got, got a sweet 16, 16 point, point guard. guard. And my response to that was, oh, yeah, they got a true sweet 16 that point that guard. That's not how you said it, though. Yeah. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm not, not going to repeat it at the I mean, same time. I'm saying you same. revved up. There was a reactionary yeah. tone yeah, okay. in my voice. But that's what, and that's how I responded. You, your, your, rea- your reaction, reaction created a reaction. was like you was upset how, that I said that. You wanted to correct me and lie to me. No, no, no. And now let's move on. You, 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 know, you, you were said. in the process. I was more or less trying to allow you to understand or, or, or give you my my opinion. The point guard yeah. position is probably the least Come. suspect position they have at TCU. When you go back and when you go back and get a chance to look at this telecast, yeah, I gotta go you, run TexasBoysBasketball dot I put you in charge of you'll see how you'll see, mm-hmm. you see how you said it. How I said it, okay. yeah. Biggie, did I did, did I respond? Let me, let me think about what them good I mean, old. You looking at the camera? TC, TC, you looking at the fan. camera? I want to see Biggie respond to you. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I know he can hear you. Yeah, I know. But I'm saying you looking at him. You yeah. talking to him? Let's see if he gonna talk back. Hey, go, ahead, go ahead, talk to him. <laughs> go talk to him. I mean, because he, you said yeah, he look at Biggie. <laughs> Biggie, teach him etiquette, because There's a reason that 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 you you own the deal. It, 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 you, you got to understand. Up? Is Big E your high? You the high Big E to be your security or something? Your bodyguard? <laughs> your bodyguard? Big e. I mean, because he, he's hey, saying it like he's saying it like if Big E come well, in, Big e, uh, I know Big E is right. listening. No. But I'm saying it makes a record. But you know what I, I mean, even you know what I even pull up on? I said, let me go grab one of those real strong TCU okay. guys. I was thinking first, about. first you try to tell I me. About, I was thinking about you know what I was thinking about. You try to tell me they have one DJ so, DJ H five. Yeah. Yeah, he's he TCU's expert. <clears throat> Who's Stacy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he know all the insides over there. He can tell you everything going on. Going on over there. Stacy, Stacy can tell you all Stacy's on right now. <laughs> he was on there a few minutes. Stacy can go in there right now. And tell you, he can go in there right now and tell you what travel warm ups they were into the next trip. <laughs> Just hanging up in the locker room. <laughs> I'm not going to give me a stat or something. Well, yeah, real, real deep oh, no, no, yeah. he get a stat. That's easy. That's easy. Probably pop up in his phone like E-Play. <laughs> he get that. I'm talking, oh, about, I'm talking about locker room stuff. Locker room stuff. Uh, yeah. oh, that, is, that, 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 is, that is crazy. But moving down the list, Texas A&M took a big one. Yeah. Very winnable game. Texas and them in their league uh, still like the depth. Still like I still like the uh, what they have in the league. I mean, what they have in the, in the a lot of parity in the SEC this year. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, let's let's go pay some bills and come back on Texas. Te- Texas, Texas A&M. and them. So Texas and them takes, takes a little bit. No, I don't take. I know what I want to say. I just don't want to. You know, I want to give. We you don't want short it to respond. Yeah. We'll be back with more Lone Star Sports Show right here on the Lone Star Sports Network in 180 seconds. We get ready to go to break. And we come back. We're going more. All things sports, all things Texas, analyzing all eight Division One conferences in the state of Texas tonight. Twenty three Division One schools. Come listen about your school. We're gonna move into some junior college basketball and some high school basketball. What you can do to make your prospect a better player. Back in one hundred and eighty seconds. Mm. Bridge Basketball Skills Academy begins your road to success with our foundation classes. These classes were created for the beginning basketball player who needs fundamental training rather than game training. These classes provide a progressive mastery of skills that are unique in our industry. We focus on creating a strong foundation by learning technique rather than just focusing on dribbling, passing, or shooting. Our unique combination of a skills matrix within a creative learning environment allows our trainees to learn skills faster than if they just practice general concepts of the game. It's not what we teach, it's how we teach it that makes the difference. Classes start at $30 for ages 7 and up. Sign up today when we get back on the line or find more information online at bridgebasketballacademy.com. Confetti ain't even heavy. Got the win, I want the record. I want the record. What's a crime if you don't protect it? What's a name if they don't respect it? 
Nah, your confetti ain't even heavy. Fucking up the game, that's so suspicious. You ain't buy it all unless you blew a ticket. All off in the VIP between them. I'ma buy all all summer just to flex for Christmas. Angel wings on the doors, I got a suplex. Money don't make you fly, that's just my perspective. Running up the skull to expose the bluff. Cause nowadays getting the wind just ain't enough. The checkup last week, I got a new agenda. The last time I couldn't buy some, I can't remember. The last time I fucked the world, I might have bust the center. I bought a crib and said that on top of Mount Olympus. When you living that high up, it's hard to see the tension. I'm only selling game, I'm all out of sympathy. Grip the foreign like a trophy, got a holy steady. Your party when your confetti ain't even heavy. Got the win, I want the record. The record. What's a crime if you don't protect it? What's a name if they don't respect it? Nah, your confetti ain't even heavy. We all off in the club like since on bitch. Can't even drink my liquor money on my celly. Account like you got a check, spend it when you ready. I'm giving hell, pray I go to heaven, nailing in they calling the call of them being off. That's, that's exactly where we right there at the break talking. Talking a little uh, uh, basketball IQ, shot selection, yeah. things of that nature right here on the Lone Star Sports Show on Basketball Thursday. We got Snoop Johnson. At the Lone Star Sports Network. At the Lone Star Sports Network on YouTube, YouTube Live. YouTube Live. We, let's go back to Texas A&M. Don't, yeah. don't lose your train of thought. I got them right there. Okay. I got them marked off right there. Texas check. A&M. Texas A&M. Uh, I feel like uh, Texas A&M is over in the SEC West. I think they are finishing. I think... I think they'll finish uh, SEC West. You sitting there with LSU, sitting there with Arkansas, Auburn, Alabama, Arkansas, 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 Mississippi State, uh, Mississippi State, Ole Miss. I said uh, Texas A&M will finish. They'll finish in the top top three mm-hmm. in the West. In, in the West. In the West. I got them as <clears throat> I got them in the top two. I'm in a favor, and I got eighty percent of being one. What are you yeah. thinking? I think they. I think they're going to be one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 A&M. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I think when you look at the whole SEC, I think that they're either one or two. Yeah. You know. So, I mean, when you stop and take a look at, at their schedule right now, Coach, they've lost one game. I mean, they could easily get away with not, you know, finishing well, with with four to five losses for the year. Well, my whole thing with that is that uh, I just think – I think you got to go ahead and uh, they got to go and identify. They the got to go and pick a starting quarterback. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They got to pick a starting quarterback. Yeah. Well, so that's I like, what you have to say, I, I, like the, I like the chemistry. I like the chemistry that Arkansas has. Those guys know what they're doing. They're not a dominant team. That's why they're not undefeated because mm-hmm. they're not a dominant team. Mm-hmm. But but uh, a good team. When you start getting the conference play, that stuff going to be game to game. but going to be a little more serious and game planned out. You know, and uh, they're going to give people well, you problems. In a, a rhythm and a rotation mm-hmm. on the scout mm-hmm. and preparation, the personnel. Right. That you're preparing right. for. I mean, it shrinks down. I like I like, I like, like Alabama over there with Colin Sexton. It's his mm-hmm. ball. Mm-hmm. Got some good athletes around him. Yeah, mm-hmm. Petty. And, uh, what's the name? Petty's coming back from his injury. Yeah. So that's going to make them stronger. They got a good They got good uh, athletes length on their front line. Yeah. I, you know, I, I mean, I really, to me, I mean, it's just me. I mean, I think it's a, in the West. I think it's a, it's a Arkansas, Alabama, uh, Texas A&M mm-hmm. fight. You know, yeah. to win it. I like Mississippi State as an outside um, underdog mm-hmm. on that West. That's one thing I like is we we analyzing these twenty three teams right here on the Lone Star Sports Show right here. All things sports, it's all Texas, things though. Texas. Yeah. Texas is connected to so much that it just flows in. We well, can, right. Yeah. We I've had a lot of program. opportunity. Every team that you've <clears> named. Yeah. I've had a chance to see a Texas team play them. Yeah. yeah, that's one thing that was really got kind of got me to the edge of my seat there. When you, I was got I watched UTA yeah. with, I watched them. Man, they must be pretty good. Yeah. You know, you know, oh, I'm, yeah. you know, you start adding up like that right there. Yeah. But you know basketball uh, fans do. Basketball <coughs> fans watch a lot of basketball. No, yeah. Texas A and M. I'm predicting one or two in the SEC. I'm pick, predicting one in the in the in the in the West, and I'm predicting a. Can they Three win, or can better? They, can they win the SEC tournament? Yeah, I, yeah, I think that. I think they will. Yeah, I predict they them win. as a no. as a win as a SEC tournament. Yeah, mm-hmm. a three or better seed. Because one thing that you saw, you saw clarity. You talk, got to find a, a starting quarterback. Yeah, got to find a starting quarterback. 
You know what was so interesting about watching that Arizona game? I mean, yeah, they take a loss. You hate to see them take the loss. They ain't no, they ain't no big, big deal. It's no not the end of the world. But you got a real good look. You got a real good look at T.J. Starks on yeah. the ball. <clears throat> you got a real good look at the boy from from uh, Milwaukee, mm-hmm. uh, Wilson, Wilson yeah. on the ball. You got a real good look at J.J. JJ. Uh, Caldwell. Caldwell on the yeah. ball. Okay. And, and you, you kind of almost saw exactly who's the guy? Who, who's the guy? Who, who you could get yeah. more out of it. And you want my opinion of it? Yeah, yeah, I want your opinion. In my my opinion, no particular order. My my observation well, was no particular order. Yeah. Oh, you want me to go in the order? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's okay. order. That makes okay. it opinion. Want me to go three three to one or, or, or one to three? However you want to do it. One go, to, go three to one. Go, go, go three to one. <laughs> No, go to one three. You said it first, so let's go. You said it yeah. first. I like three to one, but we're not because if you really we not say one to three because if you call out one, I don't even really, really care about it. Yeah, let's, <laughs> exactly. go, three, let's go. Yeah, let's <laughs> go three to one. Let's yeah. go three to yeah, one. Three there ain't no one. suspense after so, one. No, yeah, so yeah. everybody get a little, so everybody <laughs> get a little shine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what you saw with TJ Starks is is that he's a talent. TJ's three. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's a talent when the game when 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 it when when it be able to make a play. Mm-hmm. But when it comes time to make point guard decisions and run the team, now I see why TJ go. TJ say he finna get some of these haters out of his life. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he call it he whatever said, he wanted. He, you know? he said it on Twitter. I gotta get some of these haters out of my life. Yeah. Okay. Now I see what he's he talking he, about. Go he, ahead. He get, the, he no, get, them, he, get them boys out there in Arizona out of his life. I wasn't going to coach. Okay. Okay. TJ say he gotta get some of these haters out of his life. TJ. We but, gonna get him, TJ. We get the, we gonna get him out your life. <laughs> he may get the old boy from Arizona. <laughs> hey, it's a whole bunch of guys be watching that tape. Go get yeah. the bag. Get or, the bag. Or, or, or maybe let Jerry West them move their seats around so they can't see him right there straight go on ahead. the baseline. Go ahead. We go, go ahead. We gonna hang, we gonna we ain't gonna hang on TJ. Let's go yeah. to the next two. Yeah. Well, what you saw was he had the ability to go make a play. Mm-hmm. It was talent was no idea. It was decision making and choices when it came time to win the game. Gotcha. You need a point. That was that was what was missing there. What you saw with Wilson was Wilson had been a point guard long enough. Wilson's number two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. Wilson's number two. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. Wilson number two. I mean, it's a fault in number one too. Now let me let me know. I, I, I ain't no mother. I ain't saying nothing. Yeah. Hey, you are, just because I'm look- talking to me, you ain't saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I said that because you looking at me like I'm going to say something. Yeah. Like, I didn't look at too. We yeah, looking at. I'm you. making eye contact with you. I'm talking to you. Okay. I mean, I look at I look at, look at the prince a little bit. Okay. What you saw with number two was is a lot of trust and a lot of confidence. And, and knowing what the right thing to do was and knowing what you need in a situation when you when a game gets to be a, a one, two, or three possession game yeah. and you're trying to win the game. He was he had the he had the uh the mindset and, and and complete mentality of a point guard going down the stretch. I'm talking about the last six to seven, eight minutes of that game okay. mm-hmm. when it was a one possession game over and over again. He went and, and knew who they wanted because they were getting production in the post. You got a front line. I mean, Tyler Davis was unguardable. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was unguardable. He got what he Nobody wanted. could he guard that dude. Right. You got to let that dude touch the basketball coach right. in a big game like that right Go there. Ahead. You know, he understood that. Now, here's the problem with J.J. Carwell. Okay. J.J. Carwell hasn't played okay. in a whole year and a half. I'm not talking about rust. I'm talking about in between the ears. Because of him being an edgy, chippy type guy, he's trying to show the world I should have been, you know, this is what I would have been doing. I'm, I'm trying to make up for the time that I had. You watch the TJ Starks every day. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. What doing. yeah, exactly. <laughs> and so he comes in and say, look, man, and in actuality, he does have a full package, and he did do run some quality things, but right up to the edge, he would make an edgy play. And you know what you saw Billy Kennedy do in the last two or three minutes? I'm going with that number two guy because at least I know what the hell going to happen. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, that's where he went to because J.J. started trying to do – he was doing the right stuff. He was doing too much, being mm-hmm. too aggressive mm-hmm. with the situation. Billy got to keep it politically correct. I mean, you know, but, but I will, that kid didn't set out a little bit. T.J. didn't got a little bit. The other mm-hmm. kid didn't got some. Mm-hmm. Okay, he can't be – Billy can't bench that kid like that right now. Yeah, yeah. He got he got to take a look. But, but he, at, he got to you know, a good look. But you know what else he did too? He, he, play, he played two of them together. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. You know, there you play two of them together. Mm. I know TJ had to be one of them. One of them. Well, well, we we, we, we played two of them together. <laughs> the coach won't answer now. <laughs> <laughs> TJ had to be one of them. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, but the point the point is is that he got a, he has a good problem to have because mm-hmm. all of them are good enough. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, but but see, that, that, but see, that's 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 my problem with that. When you see when you say it, all of them, that means you don't have you don't have a great yeah, one. Have a, like a one of, you don't have a great one. See somebody well, got somebody somebody got to separate the pack. Well. 
if, if what I walked away from that seeing is is that T.J. Starks. Texas don't have no quarterback controversy no more. No, no Matt, Matt Corn, Matt Corn. Well, they've all gone. Baylor don't have no quarterback controversy. Listen, but mm. here, 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 here's, here's the answer to your controversy right here. Texas Tech don't have no controversy. They don't have one. Okay, <laughs> but you can't no, get no quarterback. Yeah, yeah. They don't have no controversy. <laughs> can't get no controversy. You got to have one to have a controversy. It take two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but when you go back to the to the to the to the, to the situation, when you look at it there, what you see is is that JJ Caldwell and TJ Starks may be the two of the hot bigger talents. Mm-hmm. Other kid is just a smart, solid. You know what you're going to get out of him. You know what you're going to get out of him. Mm-hmm. May not be enough in a big enough mm-hmm. game. Mm-hmm. Now, if JJ Caldwell settles down, it's probably going to lead that away. If he settles down, yeah, <laughs> he got to settle down. Coach. <laughs> We're a little amped up. He a little amped he up. Did miss, missed the game for a year and a half, coach. Yeah, he was I mean, amped up. I mean, he mm. got he going to be amped up. Mm. He gonna, and he playing Arizona. Yeah. We'll be amped up again. With them guys sitting on the baseline yeah. down there. I want to talk about it. <laughs> guys get them you, folks. Get, them <laughs> folks get a little distracted. There's a lot of them there. Everybody, got, all, all 30 teams. Got them folks all in, 30, you got them yeah. folks in your life down there, Coach. That'll get your attention. Get I want TJ down there showing out. <laughs> TJ going to bounce back. <laughs> but that, but the, the thing, uh, that's that's the whole thing that you saw right there. And the faster that comes to head, the faster their better chance of I mean, winning I mean, SEC. How many minutes did TJ play the other night? He didn't play two minutes, did he? He played 20 minutes. You got 20 minutes in? Yeah. I was about to say it was like 18 to 20 at least. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't even look. I just watched the game. That's mm. solid right there. No, he was fine. You know what yeah. I mean? It was, a, it was a whole deal. I, I have him as two. Yeah. Huh? I have him as two. You have him as two guy? Yeah. Who you got as one, two? Uh, Wilson. Wilson? Yeah. Yep. JJ at three? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. I like that. That's, That's interesting. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's we'll see how that goes as yeah. we as right. we go down the yeah. line. Y'all all Brad's put that on look, the record. Brad's got to look at you. With, he waiting on, he waiting on y'all to have y'all meet again. Because <laughs> <laughs> he got to learn. He got to learn. I mean, yeah. what you mean he got to learn? He made his opinion. He made his opinion. You know? I, mean, I mean, you also was right. You said he got to learn. Maybe you got to learn. <laughs> I don't know about okay. that one. We're going to just see about that one before it's all said and done. I'm glad we got all this on record. He told you what his was. He got he got he got Wilson at two. At one. One. He got Wilson at one. Wilson at one. Yeah. He had TJ at two. TJ at two. He got JJ at three. Right. Yeah. There you go. I think we broke it down real good. Spent a lot of time on it. SMU goes over and takes a tough one at uh at TCU. To a good TCU team. Yeah. To a solid TCU team. Good TCU team. You think you think good? they solid? Yeah. I mean I they think, undefeated, so. Yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. They undefeated. <laughs> All right. You are what your records say. You yeah. are. Bill Parcells hashtag, said that. Has, hashtag client. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm not going to. I'm going to probably plead the field for that one. You got a good TCU team, Coach. That's Top it. 20 in the country. They, they, they were 20 when they played the other night. They were number 20 in the country. Yeah. Yeah. Undefeated, Coach. Yeah. Yeah. Undefeated. Yeah. Yeah. Und- und- undefeated. That's yeah. right. You know, how about Arkansas State going and, and put hanging it on on Cal at their place? Fifteen twenty points. <laughs> <laughs> you got to watch it, coach. We got. Hey, I got some information on that. Chuck, and I got to ask you about. I know we all stay Texas all stay sports, <laughs> but we got some Texas ties out there, Cal. So we got those. We got. Yeah, we got I some, didn't return no call. I yeah, we got a phone call. I got to ask you about something in a few minutes. Throw that thing. You're not friends no more. You now we we know we live on Periscope. I SMU before we go off. SMU uh, uh, again. Uh, I think SMU is a top. Uh, I think they're definitely a top three mm-hmm. AAC team again this mm-hmm. year. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, again, coach, I like that quarterback. Shake is the quarterback, but he's trying to play some different roles with that position mm-hmm. this year. So uh, got the Dre Foster kid from Houston. Dre yeah. Foster, yeah, uh, get a lot done for him. But yeah, we come back at the, from the break. We're going to take a look, closer look at what's going on at SMU and. After taking the tough loss that they took, all things sports, all things Texas, right here on the Lone Star Sports Show on the Lone Star Sports Network, YouTube Live. All of you people over there at Periscope, y'all are getting a good taste of what's going on and what we're doing. But if you want to continue to follow us as we go into 2018, it's all things sports, Lone Star Sports Network on YouTube Live. Back in 180 seconds with more Lone Star Sports Show. I'm just young and I'm reckless. I'm just on for my section. I'm just out here on top speed with my top down and I'm revving. I don't know about hell. I don't know about heaven. All I know is about right now and this lifestyle is interesting. Ice down in my session. I just write down his confessions. No doubt I got life around me. I guess that I'm an exception. Bless ocean views. Small circle. It's a chosen few. I wrote it down and I followed through. I bought a pound and we rode the fuel. I talk shit, but she know it's true. 
ocean views Small circle, it's a chosen few I wrote it down and I followed through I bought a pound and we rode the fuel I talk shit, but she know it's true Look, I'm in these streets with my Cuban on And my bands with my music on Old friends like what you and all Shit, I been on my grind, I ain't usually home Focused, I ain't using phones Lately, I been using songs To get my point across, why niggas around me lose it all But that's your point of toss, I guess I always move the ball And that's just where we boss, I'm cracking cause I do my job Look, from f***ing hood rats to stars Spending all cash to sliding cards It's the definition of living large Smoking top flight in the biggest cars Told you, whoa, ain't this shit was ours Getting this cake, yeah, nigga, it ain't getting more Look at this world, young nigga, this is really yours This really mine, my nigga, this is really for Them buildings is really high, them cars is really for And all I see is ocean views Small circle, it's a chosen few I wrote it down and I followed through I bought a pound and we rode the fuel I talk shit, but she know it's true Ocean views, small circle, it's a chosen few I wrote it down and I followed through I bought a pound and we rode the fuel I talk shit, but she know it's true Yeah, early morning off that flight though We gon' go hard, then get right, bro It seems simple, that's not life though Ten years later, I'm alright though Look, he's a fact like they don't like though They be mad if niggas shine bright though Look, I got a real ground of right go But I'ma let you pick which way tonight go I got my yo right, plus the right go I mean it's legal, pay taxes to the white folks my Hey, here we are back at the Lone Star Sports Show Right here and my man Snoop John say we over the hill now. We're on the other side of the top of the hour, getting it all in. We got our Region 14 JUCO analyst out of Tyler, Texas, Brian Crawford. You there, Brian? Yes, sir. I'm here. How's it going, Coach? Oh, hey, going everybody. good. Going good. 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 Snoop Johnson, honey, you money, lady, life, going the whole deal. Obviously, you're coming off a of Wednesday night, which is, 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 is a night. I'll be joining you over there pretty soon, soon we get things settled. You know, Wednesday night in at the, at the local places, right? You get down to down to your old home, Carson County, there, and uh, yes, sir. Everything is right there at Kilgore. You see my old buddy over there, at Mike. But uh, out of fourteen teams right now, you've seen uh, you've seen what five teams? Yes, sir. Five. Okay, and you got Coastal Bend and who on Saturday? Uh, Kill, Coastal Bend and Panola. Coastal Bend and Panola. All right. Yep, yep, yep. R- right now. Tell us about Tyler being an undefeated team, which they've done that many times over the years through the season and uh and not you know, at some point obviously losing. Uh never have completed a full undefeated season. They lost to a Angelina team, is that correct? Yes, sir, that's correct. What what were the matchup situation like in that game? Mm. Uh, it was pretty. I mean, both athletically, I think coach they both were leaving, they were leaving across the board. They both had depth. They have link, you know, Tyler has great length in that two three zone. Mike runs. Mm-hmm. So, you know, Angelina was able to get in get underneath it a little bit. Shoot, they shot it fairly well. So, you know, matched up athlete for athlete. I think those two right there was they went they went blow for blow the entire game. Okay. 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 If you had to look at 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 and you 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 had to look at <laughs> If it, and it has nothing to do, nothing to do with you, coach. <laughs> we nah, might have talked that one up. <laughs> but uh, uh, if you had to take a look and say, uh, maybe one of the mo- one of the top recruitable players, or if you give me three top recruitable players that you've seen in the, in the six teams that you you feel like were were no brainer at the next level, or the ones you maybe the most impressed with, and if you had to say out of those six teams, who do you which two teams do you give the best chance of getting out here and going to Hutch? So you say, so you're asking the top recruitable top three guys and the team I see the best chance to win the league, correct, Coach? Right. That's two different questions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I got you. I want to make sure. Yeah, I think you know, hands down, I like uh, the the six six wing got a Panola, uh, Marlon Taylor. Mm-hmm. That's that's definitely one of the no brainer guys right there. Okay. Uh, you know, Tyler had a good class sign, but one of their favorite guys I really like is. The, 
the Michael Thomas kid. I like him a lot. Hmm. I've hmm. seen him. I like him. The uh, he's, Maryland, he's right? another mm-hmm. lengthy wing. He's a he's a freshman though, but I like him a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Well, he's a kid that can uh, leave leave with three years to play. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So he's a he's a he's a big time player. He's consistent. I like him, mm-hmm. and I like uh, coach. I like the Gilbert Thomas kid for um, Angelina. He's been okay. averaging a double double. I think he got mm-hmm. NJCAA Player of the Week. Did he he's really? Okay, a, Houston kid. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, went to yes, went to sir. Murray State. Murray State yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah, now, he's been a, he's been a, he's been big for those guys down there. That's an interesting deal right there with him. I thought he might have been at Murray State for two years. I thought so too. Was he? A class uh, of how does that work, Coach? You the you the you the junior college expert on that deal. Uh. I mean, I mean, somebody the transferring in, Coach. Yeah, hey, Coach. I mean, you the one guys transfer in. I mean, it's a it's a way that you know I've never done it as a head coach, but from what looking at the checking process, they look at the number of games, the length of the season. They do a lot of little measurement type of deals like that. If the if the time frame doesn't doesn't qualify for a full season, they oh, kind of okay. get that year back. That ha- that has yeah. to be it because he was a he was in the class of 2016. Yeah, it was 2016. Oh no, that, that's right. Yeah, so right. no, no, he was only there one year. So 16, 17, something. Yeah, he, basically, right. he basically saying it's wide open. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wide open out there, Coach. <laughs> Not quite wide open. Your man's got to come back, right, Coach? <laughs> I heard it. I, I mean, I, I, Coach. Like You've been it, around a lot of know that you got some, got some break loopholes some in that, it. You break through some of that to, at the end of the day. <laughs> when you when you break it down like that, you try to clear up with the yeah. clear something up right there. But <laughs> no, but, <laughs> but, 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 but to bring a little clarity to that situation and and, and, and to help my, my guy Kyle, no, he that kid is in his second year of college. He was a 2016 okay. kid. Yeah, yeah. 2016 kid. Yeah, so he is in his second year of college. I don't know. It just seems like it's been a while since he left and went to Murray State. And it gets, I'm thinking about the 2017 class. That's a uh, that's a freshman in college now. Yeah, that's where it is. He's one year, so that that sounds like. So you saying that he's one of the top three? So if we go Marlon Taylor and we go Gilbert Thomas at Angelina, who would you say the third player out of the six teams you've seen that was probably the most impressive uh, when you watched? Uh, I like the like I like Micah Thomas for Tyler. I no, like you did say Micah. that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like Micah a lot. What what has his aggression and toughness been like? We know he's skilled. We know his talent. He's coming from Maryland, so we he. he, he it's no, we're not questioning his talent. What was his level of aggression? You seen him what two times, three times? Yeah, I've seen, yeah, I've seen him uh, twice. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I mean, he's playing with a. He, I mean, I think he, you know with, with those JUCO guys, coach. You know, you get them in. You know, depends on where they come from. You got to toughen them up. They got to get acclimated to Region 14 play that has great athletes. But I think as they play 10, 11 games into it, coach, his toughness is slowly coming out, and he's gotten tougher every time he stepped on the floor. And he gets up for the competition, you know. Angelina, that was a pretty, that was a that was a tournament, Region 14 tournament type of atmosphere last Saturday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, where and where where, he, where the referee got to got to got to got to lace him up and and stay in there and, and yeah, get out there. Yeah, stay in there. Right. And those guys and those guys, Gilbert, they got out there. There was a little talking going on. It was a great atmosphere, and you know, Micah and the, they got a great team at Tyler. No, I'm gonna, he, I'm gonna drag Snoop Johnson down. down there to, to, to when I know it's gonna be one of those kind of games where they're Region 14. Let him take a good look at. Look when they get they get a little salted up over there sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. It's tough, but it's toughness, it's yeah. toughness, and energy is there. He's playing with a he playing at a high level. He's competing at a high level right now, coach. Yeah. Okay, that yeah. that going along with the skill set, I think that's what's really. I know a lot of Division One coaches guy. are going want to hear that because they didn't see that in October out of him. You know. <clears throat> yeah, it's coming along. I think every game is going to get better, and I think second semester mm-hmm. he really may take off, and he may be the. One of the one of the driving forces that they have to really help get them over the top. Right. What What about the point guard? Uh, they call him Kip. Uh, uh, the little guard. Uh, I believe he's North Carolina, Indiana. He's from the starting point oh, guard uh, there, Tyler. Oh, look, 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 Brian. I think his name is Brian. Yeah. Yeah. Brian Kidd. Yeah. Brian, Brian is a man. I've been impressed every time I I've watched him. I think the only, I think the only knock on him probably is his size. I don't know what the D one coaches are saying, mm-hmm. but his. IQ for the game, his feel, his toughness and motor. I mean, he went at the end. He, everybody I've seen him play, he he's the floor general. He plays with the highest energy on both ends. Okay. The toughness is there, obviously. He gets into the lane, finishing at a high level amongst the trees, knocks down big shots, and mm-hmm. he just runs the team. And that right there, you know, the talent level he has is definitely a high major talent coach. Yeah, like he's, said, a, he's, he's, he's a high major athlete. I mean, the only place you can is knocking the side. Folks, y'all are listening to Brian Crawford. Region 14 analyst for TexasBoysBasketball.com, who has had a chance to see six of the of the 14 teams in Region 14 hadn't even quite got even halfway through the season, 
And uh, after this weekend's over, he'll be even a little farther along at uh, working through that process. We're going to join over. We're even going to drag Snoop Johnson to a Region 14 game. You don't want to go to Region 14? I mean, I go to a game. You act like, like I'm anti-Region like, 14. Like, <laughs> We're going to drag Snoop Johnson. You know, he done went in there. He done went, there. See, he done went on there and hated on TJ, so now he want me to, he want me to be hated out there with the Juco coaches. <laughs> you know. now, you get, now you get into some studio politics yeah. going on. Now you get it right now. They want to make me look like I'm, like I'm hating on somebody. Yeah. Yeah, if I just go over and see Mike Barker, that's his buddy right there, Mike Barker. He go he go with Mike Barker. Mike, he, Mike he, he get life before the game. Yeah. And go there and visit and talk about who X's knows yeah, and go there and all, the, all the great players they done coached and all. Go look at Kill Go. Yeah. Oh, that was Brian. Yeah. 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 That'd, be a, that'd be a good one to go watch right there. TJ Bro- Kill Bro- T- 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 I know who Q- I ain't going yeah. to see. <laughs> I don't even want to. I don't even yeah, want to. We, we don't want to respond on that. Yeah. The studio is not, yeah. not expressed. To, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, I, want y'all to, I want y'all to start wondering who on that list. <laughs> who on that list? <laughs> the kill going to TJC was where they supposed to be, if huh? You, if you text me and I don't text you back. I said, they know what it is. You know what well, it is. You know what it is, boy. But, you know, you but, know what it is. Well, like I said, we got Brian Brian Crawford here breaking down the six teams he's seen so far. So, out of those six teams, who would you say right now? And, and we're going to go to break and come back. But who would you say right now? Not about who's going to get the hutch, but who would be in a bye, or who would be playing in the second round of the of the of the junior of the conference tournament right now, based on what you've seen. That's super early, but just still throw something. Yeah, out there. yeah, it just kind of. I, I know. I think most definitely, and I think just off the just the maturity of the team and the way they're kind of gelling. I think definitely Tyler is definitely your first round by team. Okay. And I think I think the next team I've seen is probably going to be. Uh, I have to go with up Angelina, coach. I was mm-hmm. really I like Trinity Valley a lot. Mm-hmm. I think Angelina probably have a little more depth, and they got a lot more. They got some not not more athletes, but they're probably. More prime, but you know, Trinity Valley one of those teams that they really get clicking second semester mm-hmm. and they become dangerous. But I say Tyler for sure, coach. Mm-hmm. Everybody else kind of at a standstill right now. Okay, well y'all that's like, just off what I've that's just off what no, I've. No, but seen. that's, 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 that's all you can go off is what you're seeing. You can't you can't go off yes, what you sir. haven't seen. Mm. What you got, Snoop? Mm. Coach, I'm, uh, hey Brian, when you over there going to them JUCO when you going to them JUCO games and they get to looking at you crazy, just just tell them one thing. Like my girl Cardi B say, Cardi B say, why would I have beef? When I can have a Porsche. Y'all going to school me on that let, when let that's a break. Take, take, it for what they, take, take it for what it's worth. Why would I, I ain't got no beef with nobody. Why would I have beef when I can have a Porsche? Porsche. Hey, when we come back, we come back after this 182nd break, we have more Brian Crawford in Region 14 before we get ready to get back into the the 23 Division One schools in the state of Texas in the direction of Tournament, no tournament, which way they're trending and what's what right now. But you're right here at the Lone Star Sports Show on the Lone Star Sports Network. Located right here on YouTube Live. We'll be every Tuesday and Thursday, 6 to 8. We'll be back in 180 seconds with Uh-oh. more Lone Star Sports Show. Uh-oh, look what he's put on. <laughs> Bridge Basketball Skills Academy begins your road to success with our foundation classes. These classes were created for the beginning basketball player who needs fundamental training rather than game training. These classes provide a progressive mastery of skills that are unique in our industry. We focus on creating a strong foundation by learning technique rather than just focusing on dribbling, passing, or shooting. Our unique combination of a skills matrix within a creative learning environment allows our trainees to learn skills faster than if they just practice general concepts of the game. It's not what we teach, it's how we teach it that makes the difference. Classes start at $30 for ages 7 and up. Sign up today when we get back on the line or find more information online at bridgebasketballacademy.com. And you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they thought the party was over. <laughs> Bad boy shit. We ain't finished yet though. Talk to him. Yeah, now I'm Paul Potty, Wusabi, new hobby. Ocean view where I move lobby. Ride like I knew Harley, ungolly. Smoke like I knew Molly, smart party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama say, Mama side, Mama, I'm too high. You better save how you side, cause y'all could die. Rap Holocaust is a robbery, I take all it off. Car be a part of crime scene after all it off. I'm rap brush more, feel like I should bust more. They lust more, bust more. Give me brain plus, y'all. I'm the only pretty nigga from the city, hope to diddy. 
ever had love for Giving a good mug for a dope boy swag I ain't never had to cut raw On the ball, on the law, on the rules, on the juice On the face, on the safe I'm the reason niggas popping, I'm the reason bitches blocking I'm the reason niggas shopping 20k Prosecutor, call a jury shopping for instant I lead the beat in forensics, whoa And them niggas know that I'm still him Close from different country, feeling like pilgrim Nigga try to get in my way, but somehow I still win I leave, they feeling I'm king, you nil Then just no silver Versace on the body, make her hug me longer Playing with a body chain, make her fuck me longer Shave a Gucci like my ex, call it copycat They put bread on my head, I bought the body bag I like the way you sounding on this joint, man Yeah All right. Yeah. Some people are legendary yeah. 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 And some people are iconic we, we know the difference. Gotta know the difference. When you live in the clouds, you want all the smoke. I want the steam, everything in between. Yeah. I want the fade, I even need the flat top. Yeah. Got an Abbey, what's the Addy, what's the back block? Hiroshima, hit your beamer. Sirens on it, hit no Ninas. Broken dreams, no wife. Yeah. Seldom. Trick on no hoops, I sell them Treat them like cabs, I hail them Hit them and farewell them Know my mind, is no retreat It's no defeat, it's so conceit To hold my seat, hold my nine weight Roll my fleet, roll my weed Roll with me, woe is me What's like? Hey, here we are back here At the Lone Star Sports Show Got Stoop Johnson watching TV over there, tell us what's going on on, on the game, coach. Coach, you watching it too? Talk <laughs> <laughs> about Stu Johnson watching TV. You just got to say they look like socks, <laughs> like the old Golden Bear. Oh, Golden Bear! Uh, I said the Atlanta Falcons look like uh, Deion Sanders' uh, uh, team. Team, the the truth. Well, well, truth when they truth. were down, truth when they were back down there. Yeah. Oh, he still got them. Well, he still got the little, little league team. Yeah, you know Deion got double duty now. He got, he got the high school. They going to state. Mm-hmm. Trendy Christian, shout out to Trendy Christian. Wish we could have got a uh, Deion's son, him and his son on on the night. They go yeah. they, they go state this weekend. They tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay. Oh. Yeah. They got a big state championship game. Game tomorrow. going. On. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, that's what lined up. We still got Brian Crawford with us. Okay, Brian, is right there covering Region 14 in the Lone Star Sports Show, right here on the Lone Star Sports Network. As we were talking, he's had a chance to see six of the 14 teams at this stage of December the seventh in 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 2017. Got a long season in front of us. And at TexasBoysBasketball.com, we basically see the teams about three times before each team, about three times, sometimes more, before we get to the region report, uh, regional uh, uh, tournament for a conference tournament. And that's how we're able to put out our regional reports. So we got Brian Crawford, longtime assistant at uh, Navarro Junior College right there. Uh, that's in on top of it. We're going to take, take uh, Ani DePrince. Prince. The rook, we take him back over to Reading Fourteen. You can be a rookie again, all over there. You want, yeah. can't demote you to rook then. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I don't care about the name. Just, you don't care about the name. Too much results. Yeah. Okay. So, we're, we're, I, hey, I care about the name. <laughs> you can't call me nothing crazy, but <laughs> <laughs> I care about the name. Don't call me anything. I care about the name. They don't call him. He, don't, he don't, can't call him rook over there no more. Mm. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna drag Snoop Johnson to the to the to the, to the Region Fourteen game. I like going to Region 14 games. <laughs> I'm going to drag you. Yeah, get a little crazy over there sometimes. But but referees have to earn the keep sometime around that, around that place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They earn all their paycheck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They to get in there and deal with it. It, it, it. Every coach over there, especially if he's been over there 10 years or longer, he let the referee, referees know what he think, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, so we, 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 looked at, we looked at Marcus. Uh, uh, what's the kid? At uh, Panola's, Marcus. Uh, uh, the Mar- Mar- Marlon Taylor. Marlon, Marlon Taylor, Taylor, yeah. Marlon yeah. Taylor. I've seen him. I, I definitely can agree with where you're coming from there. Uh, Gilbert. I've had Gilbert probably since he was 12 years old. So I've seen, I've seen Gilbert a thousand I was about times. I about to say Gilbert Good. <laughs> <laughs> they want to Gilbert Good's old boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Gilbert, Gilbert, Gilbert Good Thomas. boys all up and down region 14. Oh, yeah. He go there, Coach. He called Coach. I got one over here, man. You need, to, you need to take him, Coach. <laughs> Not too many people gonna gonna argue with Gilbert over in Region 14 either, man. He he been around. He had some had some had some a lot of success over there. And uh, and then we turned back around. We left. And then you said Michael Thomas. Well, I mean, obviously, yeah, Michael Thomas. If he yeah, got a, 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 a a a a Big Ten scholarship to Maryland, there's there's not a question about his about his talent. Right. You know, never played at Maryland. That's why he's got three years to play after he leaves. There, six seven six eight skill can really shoot the basketball. He's in Maryland now. 
No, he's no, a, he he's came a, from Maryland. He's at Tyler oh. Junior College now. Oh, okay. Oh, I remember you talking about the Maryland kid. Yeah, right. What, what's his name? Micah Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember that kid from over the Juco. Right? right, and you said that the level of aggression and and toughness has improved. Is what you're saying, uh, right, yes, coach? Sir. Yeah, yes, sir. It's improved, and I think it's going to continue to go upwards because he's every time I watch him, he continue to. He shows he shows it even more. So the he get he, he about getting two him. or three rebounds now. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, he'll get in there and crash. Yep, he'll go in there. He's he 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 zero. Yeah, he, he, he wasn't going for the boys. Though, coach, because they were going at his head out there at Angelina. They were. That one thing about Angelina, boy, the, the 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 bigger league you come from, the the harder they go after you. <laughs> yeah, they were going out there, you know. So yeah, I think it's gonna definitely on all the way up for him on that. I think he's only gonna get better over time with that. Aggression and toughness. So he ain't where he needs to be, but he's getting there though. Right. Okay. Second round. Second round of of, of the of the of the uh, conference tournament. Some of them get the buys. You saying Tyler right now has the potential to be a buy team? Just looking at what you what you've had a chance to see thus yeah, far. Yeah, I think Ty, Yeah, I think Tyler, and I think um, I think Tyler can get one, and I think. Um, Angelina is going to get the other one okay. coming out of the south. How does that work get out of the north? You get, well, you get you get two out of uh, south you, and two out of north for our, for our yeah, listeners. You get two, yeah, you get two, and I believe it's two and two. Yeah, and then the, and then you go like that, and everybody else just kind of sees the, in uh, and the, other, the, the other eight have to play on the first day. Mm. Yep, got to play on the first day, then they start it like Where's that. Regional yes, tournament, tournament going to be. Been, yeah, where's it going to be this Jacksonville year? Jacksonville this year again? Is it Jacksonville again? Coach? Yeah, so I believe we're going back to Jacksonville. Okay. They, you know, yeah, reading fourteen, they so. might not have made that decision yet, coach. <laughs> reading fourteen, they they kind of handle it now. <laughs> Figure yeah. it out as they go. Yeah, <laughs> and they play on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So you know, you play at seven o'clock on Wednesday and, and four o'clock <laughs> on Saturday. <laughs> be where you're supposed to be. Yep. <laughs> yep. You got that part figured out for sure, but uh. So right now, Angelina's a South team, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, South team. So yeah. right, right now, you 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 kind of lean toward a, a Tyler and and a uh, and a, and an Angelina though as 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 two of the four spots, one from each yep. each each side is yep. possibly being by teams. And uh, yep. right now, and then after that, we've got to keep on watching some more. Who would yes, you sir. say is has done themselves the most good as a player? Based on the beginning, going all the way back to October to now, uh, that's not on that that three three man uh, impact list, right? That we called off from the beginning in Region 14. I think uh, the Trinity Valley guys, the Robinson, Idean, the 16 freshman they got. He's a he's a stud. He, he's my next guy. He got, like I said, I like him. He he's a real lengthy athlete, 16, strong body. Plays above the rim. He's mm-hmm. definitely a capable mid range, can stretch the floor, but just a big time shot blocker rebound out there at Trinity Valley. And then I think he's helped Same. himself a whole lot. And I like the undersized big. They got the the Columbia kid, not the six eleven one, the six seven one. Oh, the one the at Trinity Andres. Valley, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm glad Trinity you saw Valley that. Guy. I forgot about that kid. Yeah, he's from Columbia. Yeah, the Andreas. Yeah, the or something. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's got some. Body. He got some Houston ties. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those guys right there. They they've done themselves well and. You know, when I hadn't seen Wendell but once, but the one time I did watch him, he had a really good game. Oh, yeah, the little guard, the left, the Baylor, left, the left the Baylor, Baylor right? Yeah, yeah, the Baylor mm-hmm. transfer. So, I, mm-hmm. yeah, I think those guys. I think they pulled out a, a one point win last night over Angelina last night. I talked to the mm-hmm. assistant out there. And he said it was a dog fight, last second shot. They turned it over, called timeout or something. They lost, so it was a dog fight between them two last night. Well, man, you so, you you were in Region Fourteen. I mean. It's just on any given night in Region Fourteen, oh, yeah. you can get it. You know, I mean, you, oh yeah, you, oh, oh you any given all. night. You know, I was on. I was. I was. I was fortunate to be a part of you know Johnny Stale staff, and then I was part of Michael Landers. And my three years there, we you know the first year with Johnny, we won the league. Yeah, and, uh, you've been, made you the made you made you made the trip. You made the trip to Hutch before. You know what it's like to go to yes, Hutch. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. You kind of like old Snoop Johnson. Said, you know how to go to the championship. Didn't. <laughs> 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 So, you know, those nights nice in when you're at the top of the league and those guys in the middle of the pack of the Region 14, they come in they, and you got to go on the road to a Paris or oh, man. a Tyler or Kilgore. It's, it's rough, man. And yeah. you got to make them long trips down to Bossier or go yeah. out to Coastal Bend, Panola. Those games can upset you as well. So you just got to 
you got to keep the troops rallied up mentally and physically just to go handle that battle on a Wednesday night and then turn around and have another one on Saturday. Boy, that when, one slip when, is tight. Yeah, when, when Chuck T was up there in Paris, boy, you could roll off in that can. Him, him or, uh, or, or Ross, oh, uh, uh, what's Ross's name? Ross Hodge. Mm. Uh, Hodge, yeah. That, that's boy, when those, when those guys up there in Paris, boy, it could be a bloodbath, boy. They may pay, the, pay the referees off, coach. <laughs> what call that? <laughs> That cracker box gym over there. Oh man, yeah, they, you, they, go, it, it, you go there and get beat twenty on any given night. Don't matter. It, 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 I don't know, no matter who you are, you be first place in the league, the three game lead, <laughs> and go to and go to Paris. Yeah. Everybody in town, they shut the whole town down, coach. Yeah. Hey, yeah. shut it down. Coach. Everybody oh, standing room, they be standing almost on the court and stuff. Yeah. You go up in there, coach. They turn and, and, them loose and, 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 on and, and, you up there, coach. Chuck, <clears throat> hey, coach, Chuck and Chuck start the game about seven thirty, almost eight o'clock bedtime for most folks. And they be <laughs> they be rocking. They give everybody time to get off. That started back over there. That started back with old what's name when he was over there. Oh yeah, yeah. I know you can call his name, Coach. Older guy, uh, uh, Foy. Bill Foy. Bill Foy. Yeah. Bill Foy. Yeah. That's a rough spot. Yeah. That's a rough spot over there, man. Yeah. Bill Foy used to get all my kids. (laughs) Yeah. Oh yeah, man. They they uh that's that's a hell of a place, man. I be, you know, one of the things that, and I hope you know, you have a few high school listeners, a few parents listeners out there. The opportunity to play in Region 14, it's really a, it's really an opportunity to play in Region 14, Coach. Yes, sir. That's not a yes, walk sir, in the park. Coach. No. I mean, no, one thing about it, if you, you go here, I'm going I'm to run a number for you. 14 teams, we'll say 10, 10 guys on each team just for a round number, 140 kids. So we can easily take that to 160 kids. 150 to 160 kids. Out of those uh, 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 140 to 150 kids, a hundred to a hundred and ten of them are gonna get Division One scholarship. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't think yep. any, I don't think anybody on the phone on on this on this uh, tele, telecast right now is um is is uh is not knowledgeable of, of the competition opportunity yeah. and the competition. competition and the opportunity yep. over at Region Fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think you're talking to more of the listeners, right? You know, yeah, that might not know. Yeah. Well, no, that's exactly yeah. what I meant when I say the people that are listening. I know you know. I mean, yeah. you send. I mean, kids, you send over there and. No, it is a, yeah. No. I mean, we sit there and look at it. Yeah. No. It, I mean, we had. To, I mean, you know, I had the opportunity. To Snoop, when um Snoop was still coaching, you know, he sent he sent a Shannon Lilly and to see that that kid had options. He came and played yeah, two years to, yeah. for us, and, and, and everything worked turned, out. He, he, everything worked out. Went to a good DBU school. Was was a all conference, all region fourteen guy for us. And he developed into what he needed. Went to DBU. Was probably one of the best players they've had in the history over there. He's, he's Took him to the so it worked. Now he's coaching, he? Yeah, he's grad state, grad yeah, assistant grad assistant over grad there. Assistant, you know, exactly. career. He was, you he know, was, he was a two time state champion. Career so, getting ready know, to start. When, so when you recruit kids, coach, you know everybody they they think of Ju they think of JUCO and they think it's just a a, a failure zone. You messed up. You got to go start over. And it's actually it's an opportunity kids, zone. Great academic. Great great kids. Great academics. We had. We had guys that were qualifiers that decided to go JUCO just to make sure they could develop and get what they needed so they can go get that higher offer that they was trying to get. We said, playing against grown men every night. I said a couple down there with John yeah. Brown because I said yeah, Thib- sure Thibodeau did, came down there before. Thibodeau sure did. Thibodeau. I, right I, got, I, got, yep. I got one for all the listeners and, and for y'all too. And y'all can, you can ask me whatever. It's 30, divi- 30 NBA teams, right? Mm. Yes, sir. And it's roughly 10 to 300. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah three, three, 300, 350 NBA players. I would be willing to say that two of the top 30 players in the NBA came from Region 14, active right now playing. Jerry Butler. Yeah. Stu Johnson. So, oh. there you go. Huh? Said, yep, I know – Oh, Jimmy Butler, Butler and Jonathan Simmons. Oh, right. you're talking about the players. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, sure is. You know, and uh, they didn't necessarily rule the roofs all the time over there. We'll be back with more Long Star Sports Show. Brian, we really appreciate you, Coach Crawford, for coming on appreciate tonight. It, and yes, uh, bringing along. We may try to, you know, look at this on a regular on Thursday so as, as now we get ready to get intense, especially when we come back from the holidays. And uh, being able to get our Region 14 report, know exactly what's going on. The covenant is doing an excellent job with all the reports. Y'all go take a look at TexasBoysBasketball.com. All you college coaches, you can take a close look and see exactly what's going on. I know y'all. some of y'all are still looking for a 2018 player. Lone Star Sports Show right here on the Lone Star Sports Network. We come back with the final segment looking at all things sports, all things Texas. 
and what all was going on in Division One basketball in the state of Texas back in 180 seconds with more Lone Star Sports Show. I was just gliding, I just be styling, I'm on a high end, I'm on the fly end, we about to fly in, jump in the cayenne, jump in the cayenne, ran out of Miley, gotta go find it, snatch the daddy, in a big body, Zip set Wu Tang, we like Shiley, what's the talk? What's the need, read? Rock up the list, ripping a big beat, bust the totem, what's the need, read? Plain Jane, watch, reach a milli, yeah. Reach a milli, cost me about an ass, damn mark. Left my Tesla sent at the house on the charge. I just met the owners of Chanel and Deodore. Cause they say I'm spending too much money in the stores. Everything high in, I with the mozzie I pop a half a perk, make a deposit I am not front of earth, stay on my flash I'm flying private, on my Dubai sh- On the Ducati, stunting on them All of you, my little homies Get some knowledge for you, stop trying to wipe a that All the vampires know that we don't go to sleep We stay up all night, pop me two or three Little exotic type Everything high, you see the stars and my rich and melee cost more than your car Everything high, everything high And you fake, sure it's high And you fake, sure get fired up Don't fuck with fit, they be wider Put up, everything high, yeah I want a buggy, about to hit Cali I want an H pill, I want a Miley I'ma get CC, CC, Front these diamonds, eyes locked in. I would climb. Long Star Sports Show right here. Falling back in in the last segment. We getting down in the paint on basketball Thursday. My man Unu Money, above sometimes known as the Prince, I like to call it above the rim. We have to see. In the paint is in the paint. Can't, you can't get above the rim if you don't get in the paint. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. So let's get, get in the paint. We're gonna throw, throw throw a lob up there and see if Snoop Johnson go get it. <laughs> well, there's been some guys that didn't get in the paint that, that jumped over the paint. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <I don't> <laughs> people take a step outside the paint and, and still get above the rim. Mm. Yeah, Carl Wright was one. Mm. That's right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hey, look at all everything that's going down. Cause we're, and we're gonna take six minutes. And we're gonna hit. Uh, we're gonna go down through. And talk about we got SMU U of H. I cannot leave U of H out. Now you're talking about somebody that's playing good quality basketball yeah. right now. Yeah, Coach U of H is getting it in right now. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, personnel is where it needs to be. I know you're getting the fan club winding up over there. But the last segment, we got to hit a lot of a lot of pieces here real fast. Go ahead. I'm here. You know, uh, UTEP obviously that's a tough situation. Tim Floyd yeah. retires in the middle, of, not even the middle of the season, after the fourth game of the season, before game five, mm-hmm. after game five. Yeah, yeah. We got we got one of our guys out there, Keith Frazier, uh, out there. We got another kid from Houston, a uh, uh, Thomas kid that's out there still, still there. So that's going to be a tough situation there. But I'm saying Baylor's a tournament team, UT's a tournament team, Texas Tech is a tournament team, TCU's a tournament team, Texas A&M is SMU. U of H, you know, SMU is going to be in that in that situation, but they got some really good quality wins right now too. Yeah. <clears throat> mm-hmm. That's what they're hanging their hat on right now. TCU is hanging their hat on on record and then going into a quality conference. Mm. No, it ain't just record. Them kids, they playing good. Good basketball Well, I'm talking team. about what, what makes you a tournament team or yeah. not. Yeah. The, you know, the tournament team is wins and losses, Coach. Yeah. Mm. You know, it, 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 you know that, that, that's – and quality wins. Trying to hate on some of these guys, man. <laughs> <laughs> hate, hate patrol. I'm the hate patrol. <laughs> He's a hate patrol. Hate yeah, patrol. you try to slide one in on them. Man. Hey, that's hey, Stu, Stu Johnson getting it. What get, is TCU? 13 and 0? No, they ain't played that many games. They ain't played that many games. Yeah, something like, though. Yeah, 8 and 0, 7 yeah. and 0. No, they undefeated. I would say 8 and 0, but let me. Yeah. Oh, they ain't played more than 8 games, cool. No, nah, everybody's right on the 8 9 mark right now, because it's not the NBA. Mm-hmm. That's what I was yeah. thinking about the NBA. Yeah, all right. They played that many games yet. Yeah. They're undefeated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they are undefeated though. You know, uh, nine. They hit, they're they nine get, and zero now. They getting ready to go out there and play uh, USC, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Which could be a sneaky one. You know, out there on the road. Dude, they got a, be a big they win. Got, they don't play USC. Who they playing TCU. out there? They got Nevada. They just played Nevada, didn't they? No, they no, play, they're playing them. Saturday. That wasn't them that played Nevada. That was mm-hmm. Texas Tech. Yeah. Texas Tech beat Nevada. Played Nevada. Yeah, in the overtime. In the overtime. Mm-hmm. Uh, overtime. Uh, Zaire hit the, uh, the shot to take him in overtime. Yeah, oh, Zaire. That's what those glue guys like that do. 
they 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 go and do multiple things on on situations like that. Yeah, like that you know what I mean. I mean, he's gonna be who he is. So I'm I'm predicting right now, coach. You know, going all the way down to TSU, Lamar, uh, big big win for uh, Lou Hill, uh, mm-hmm. beat, beat my well, he man swept Coach that, Wilson. Right swept now. that series. Mm-hmm. He yeah. swept that series. He beat him mm-hmm. over there. He beat mm-hmm. he beat uh he beat uh uh, uh Corpus Christi. Mm-hmm. He beat them down on the island, and he beat them over on his island. Island, oh, right? Yeah. So, so you know, Lou. Lou, Lou's Lou work, work his way Lou through that. Owns, he owns that series. I've, some, some of the some of the Power Five guys have told me that their preview is not nothing going to roll over on either. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See, man, them dudes for fighting got the way they forget they're supposed they're not supposed to win a game. Mm-hmm. They want to keep on fighting. No, preview got preview. Just, they just come off a big win. Yeah. Well, and mm-hmm. a close one. Right. You know. And, I mean, uh, those guys are those guys are doing a quality job. You got Gremlin. Grambling went down there. They beat Lou Hill now. Yep, yep. Then they played yeah. North Texas close, but then they went and beat Georgia Tech yep. in Atlanta, yep. you know. Yep. Uh, and so, I mean, you, you got a lot of things. Sam Houston State is, is playing pretty. Uh, Albaline Christian got a big win Steve, over Air Force. Stephen yeah. F. Austin yeah. just went over there and, now, to Louisiana Tech. That's who you want to talk about. Uh, Stephen F. Austin, yeah. I watched him play went Mississippi State. To, yeah. yeah, at La Tech. Lost by one there at Mississippi State, a one mm-hmm. possession for sure. Yeah. Very close game. One one to two possession game the whole game almost, you know. Yeah. With with a, with a team like that. So I'm not thinking. They should have played that game in Shreveport. Yeah. Stephen F. Austin, a little battle of the border right there at Street. They did, I like to see them play that over there, maybe in one of the old, one of the old hotels over there. Yeah. You know, yeah. like to do in Vegas. Yeah. yeah. You can't promote that. We're looking at some of that, Coach. Stephen F. Austin versus Louisiana well, yeah, Tech. Yeah. Mark Park right. going to beat me to it now. At the, <laughs> over there, one of them casinos. That might not be big enough I told for Mark Park. We go there, one of them casinos over there, and get us about, get us, bring us in some seats, about, about 2,000 seats. Yeah. Lock them up in 1500, there. 1,500, you know, those little yeah. portables. Yeah. Bring them. Yeah, one of them experience. hotels. They got them hotels out there. They got space. Yeah. Like them that. big ballrooms. That's how they do it in Atlantis. It could, it could, you could promote that. No, you, you, could, you could definitely Ballad, promote yeah. that. Coach Stephen F. Austin coming out of Nacogdoches mm-hmm. versus Latte coming out of Ruston. Mm-hmm. That's a good little old battle. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, yep. That, we got that, good relationships. That's not mm-hmm. bad, is it? Yeah, Kyle Keller and uh, and my man uh, Conkle. Yeah, Eric Conkle. Yep. Yeah. Well, oh, Conkle, Conkle don't want none of that. Yeah, well, he's got a good dose of it the other night. <laughs> he might want to get on neutral ground. <laughs> 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 get a little, 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 little bit of run for the process yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But no, both, it, both of those programs have done a really good job recruiting the, the uh, DFW Met, Metroplex. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. Yeah, they have. They, they really have. But right now, you go in, twenty-three Division One teams. Alan Brand is saying that Texas will have eight to ten teams in the NCAA tournament. So, sounds about right. Mm-hmm. I name them: Baylor, UT, Texas Tech, Texas A and M, U of H. That's your first five right there. UTA makes six. I'm calling Stephen F. Austin out of, out of the the Southland Com- the Southland Conference. Mm-hmm. We'll uh, we'll get one out of Texas. Mm-hmm. See, one year we didn't get anybody. You think we ought to have somebody? Well, Southland team. You no, know, I mean a, a Texas Southland team okay. didn't go to the tournament. <clears throat> so I think we 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 got that situation uh, right there where you're looking at, at that deal. UTA, I think, can win the Sun Belt. Can TSU go again? Yeah, I was saying that would be. T- TSU is is definitely the preseason favorite to go again, but that gets you to ten. Mm. Uh, I think all of our. I our, think, I think it's somebody you missed in the Big Twelve. I think. I didn't miss a team. I, I went. I went Texas. Baylor, UT, Texas Tech, TCU, or the, or the four four Big Twelve go again, teams. Go again. You said Baylor, Texas, Texas Tech, University of Texas, Texas. And TCU. And TCU. That's a four Big 12 team. Okay. Who else you say can get in? Uh, I'm you, saying A&M. You say that's five. A&M, that's five. Mm-hmm. SMU. U of H. U of that's H. six. Mm-hmm. Uh, SMU. You uh, didn't say SMU. No, I didn't say SMU. Because, I mean, you got that league is tough for a shit, Coach. Go, go ahead. You ain't got to play. We yeah, just got to get a count right yeah, now. Yeah, we're trying to get a count right now. And then I I, I, uh, I went to Stephen F. Austin out of the Southland. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I went to UTA out of the Sun Belt. Yeah, I think we're gonna get ten teams in. Yeah, that's what I said. Ten teams. There they go. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, and that's 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 a that's a big rise from going Did to, you say ten or eight? I said eight to ten is what I oh, said. Eh eight to ten, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're gonna leave yourself a lot of you leave yourself. Well, you can so always leave yourself some wiggle, wiggle room. room. Coach, you got that wiggle room. Coach yeah. twenty three teams, coach. Mm. I got you. Yeah, we'll be where we do. Uh Larry Wise. Going to Drake. Yeah. Going to Drake. Mm-hmm. I think it's a huge opportunity. Uh, 
Wichita State out of the Missouri Valley right now. Yeah. So there's a lot of a lot of a lot of opportunity in, right. in in Missouri Valley. Good league. Good basketball yeah. league. Good basketball league. Uh the I think the one thing is going to Drake is getting a hell of an opportunity to get a hell of education. Yes. That's yeah. one of the things that are kind of underestimated. We don't really talk about a lot this far south in Texas about and let Drake's you know academic. He, and let you know what kind of student he was. Let you know what kind of student he was. Exactly. And he'll let you just get on basketball. Right. <laughs> you, you know, you, you, yep, yep. That, that, is, that is exactly right. Uh, knowing what I know about the league, Missouri State, and just looking at some of the people that are in that league, Indiana State, he's a he's an all-conference type player for two years. He's an all-conference type talent for two years. Mm -hmm. He has to go and do the playing, but he has the ability to be 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 a be an all league dude in that in that in that, in that uh in that Missouri Valley. Yeah, that kind of right. You know, so not a bad fit. Mm -hmm. No. It's good. Uh not a not a bad fit. Good opportunity. I think one of the things that gets missed out on everybody's when they look they say, well, everybody's trying to get as high as they possibly can. But most kids are happy when they're playing and being successful. Oh, enjoy, and when they get to college, they get to enjoy college. Yeah, right, right. right. And All the other stuff doesn't. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it 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 does. I mean, yeah. When you get to power five situations and private planes and playing more but on the Drake team. ain't because Drake ain't over there. Drake ain't over there making no no eight to ten hour drives. They say <laughs> right, no, right. no. They they go to the airport. Coach. Yeah, they go to the airport and yeah. eat at the hotel and everything too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The charter bus. And, yeah. yeah, the whole nine yards sitting there got their own TV screen. Yeah. And, they might not play on TV bus. as many times. Yeah, they won't play on TV as many times. They play. <coughs> <coughs> Regionally, they'll play on TV. Right, right. They won't play. And then, with, and then with this ESP, ESPN three package on the computer. I mean, yeah, no, yeah you everybody's on. I mean, you're on, on TV. TV. Right. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, know. It, it, it it's a different animal now. But uh, I think it's a tremendous opportunity for Larry Wise. I mean, uh, you know, and you know when it's a tremendous opportunity for a kid after he signs or after he makes his commitment because he hasn't signed. Huh. He's, he's, yeah. he's verbally committed he verbally to Drake. Mm. Can't sign until to April. Mm. Right. Right. Well, you know something, boy, jumping way off the subject. Football's got two signing periods now. I no, that's what I'm telling you. They got the early signing period coming up. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's due for football though. Yeah. Yeah. They it's, just they, they voted on it last year. But they said they you know, this almost had to come. What, what is the actual date for the early signing? December period? the twentieth or something right. like that. So they, right. they they had to go and put that in place for them people them kids that's going to going to school. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the early graduates. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was part of, part of the reason. Uh, what I heard when I was out uh, visiting, and talking about man, it's so crazy in football, trying to hold a commitment for yeah. that long. Yeah, they need to break that thing up. Yeah, you know, they yeah. gonna they gonna have it next year to be earlier than that. They'll yeah. sign earlier than that. Yeah, yeah. No, they, it, they it, really it, want when they, when them kids commit over the summer. They really want them to have a time where they can go on and sign that and get it out the way. Get out the way. Right. So I'm looking yeah. at something. I'm looking at them maybe jumping in that October, November rain somewhere now. Well, Coach, I think we finished down in the paint real good. You know, uh, got the ball in the rim right here on Basketball Thursday. We looked at everything. It's like it's going to be a good year for our schools into the NCAA tournament. You know, what well, other what other states going to have, could have potentially have 10-plus schools in the NCAA tournament? Mm. Y'all go study and think them, about that. Some of them states don't have 10 schools. Yes, I'm <laughs> <laughs> all things sports, all things Texas, right here on the Lone Star Sports Network, Lone Star Sports Show, right here. You got Snoop Johnson, known as Rain, is going to be honored on Tuesday. Make sure you make it out to Ellis Davis hey. Fieldhouse. We're all time great. The GOAT. And we greatest got, of all time. And we got and we got the Lone Star Challenge coming up in April. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that thing there Get signed up real interesting uh, Get signed up Early in the morning So we're going to be running out of here on Tuesday night Everybody going to go down and take pictures with Snoop Johnson Y'all yeah, going to have some cake for us to eat We're going to eat cake Oh yeah, we're going to line it up, Coach Yeah, we're we'll going to come down we're there and take a look at it probably, You know, you know <laughs> how we do it over there Carter B might be down there We're going to have cake cake You know he already invited her <laughs> Get your wristband and go up there and get some food Watch yeah, the press yeah. box Tell them DSD people I don't need no, 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 no confusion about that when I get there now It's Kimball's home game Oh, okay So we just got to go over there and Get, get on the get, list and stuff. Get your credential. Get your request with, with Nick Smith. Yeah, well, Nick, I'm all be in good shape then. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you on Tuesday. Tuesday is Snoop Johnson Day, right here on the Lone Star Sports Show. Joe, the goat. Give us something, goat. Yeah, you got, got the fan. There you go, right there. There he is. Show him all your ring. Call me your fingers. You got. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll be back on next week. Y'all have a good weekend and be safe. And most of all, stay warm. It's supposed to get down to 29 degrees tonight. Talk back to you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>